new angle for the mic, different compressor settings that nobody will notice, and a new animated emote for you. A new animated emote for you. What does this mean? What does this new uh, mic angle mean? It means that when I'm facing this way, uh, the mic is pointed at my mouth. When I'm facing this way, you look at the chat, the mic is pointed at my mouth. It's all magic. I'm never facing away uh, for the mic. You might, now and again, get a pit, get a pit, pit of that. You pit, pit, pit. But I've got the other thing. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's no covering the screen because the, the, the arm comes down like that and through this gap here. I see it. It's all absolutely fine. That's it. It's done. And I've got all this space here. Look, there's nothing in the way here. Don't have to think about that anymore. Do -do -do. I looked it up yesterday. Ready or not by the Fujis. It was Enya they sampled. I might have looked it up before, but I can't remember. Wig thinks it's up. Can I get a guttural death metal? Blam. Blam! <coughs> Lou. Biscuit cakes. Someone else in chat. Skins and tubs. Snakes. Nile. Maybe Georgia May. T Peaks. Molecule. Sauce, Chris, Burn, and Steve, do you think it's the subs? 10 out of 10, all good. Well, glad to hear it. Um, no sub today, please. This slot don't deserve one. Biscuit cakes. You meant to type blam, didn't you? Biscuit cakes said, no sub today, please. This lot don't deserve one. You said in your sub message, you meant... You meant blam, didn't you? Hold on, I'll press the wee button for you. That one for the blooper reel. There you go. That's that press for you there. Do, 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 do. Richard E. Grant Blom. Smith Fizz thinks of subs. Happy birthday. A festive flash of the baby blues. Um, can you tell me everything is going to be all right? Suffering from a huge hangover from a Christmas party last night. It was a terrible hangover that stopped me drinking. So maybe you should fucking feel that pain. Maybe you should feel that fucking pain. Craigie, Johnny thinks of subs. Is Hedy Joy the best game show contestant ever? I, I think so. Blue thinks of sub. Please give me the strength to survive Christmas retail in America. It's your country. You, you should be happy. You don't like it? You need to throw, overthrow the system. Good luck. Craigie and Colonel Schlong thinks of subs. Thanks for entertainment. You're welcome. Da -da -da -da. Morning, everybody. How's everybody keeping? Everybody all right? Here I was asked, how did it go after I left? Did Dead by Daylight start working again or... or what? Started working fucking typical. Might have been me. Might have been me then. Can you speak a bit louder? I've got builders downstairs drilling. Everybody, I've got builders downstairs drilling. I've got a new emote, everybody.
Now that, that's George Fonby. Who's the guy in the motor? Oh, who knows that? Who knows? C.H. Ifley Fraser. Thanks for subs. Thanks, for Andrew, for the new emote. That emote is yours and there'll be many more to come. Many more to come. Uh, there's a wee thing in my bobby at the minute. I'm not quite high up. Um, it sounds very, very familiar. But I'm going to go like that. Never heard it. Fuck it. You bastard! That there, see, the second I heard that fucking bass there. Second I heard the bass. That sounded, it almost sounded like um, Double Dutch by Malcolm McLaren. But that isn't his voice. It was, a, it was a guitar bit that made me think it. Or, in fact, uh, Graceland, Paul Simon. You know, kind of sound like, yeah, it's an African, um, the, 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 I don't know what the sounds are, but the way the bass is, the way that guitar is. I can do 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 you know that what's it called right I don't know exactly where it comes from big fucking continent does he know about the new twitch 2s no he doesn't what is it sub range Small fry and crumpets, turn up legs, thanks to subs. Uh, you met a guy who said he went to Radar with me. All before I developed the Scottish character, let me. Um, happy to support you. Thank you very much. You can support his and had to uphold his dismissal. That's fine, don't like him. What's the new TOS thing then? Nudity allowed. You can undress. Uh, what do you mean? Twitch loosens its policy on sexual content. That sounds like kind of an article talking about it. So that doesn't sound like its own terms of service. I need to actually kind of hear it second hand, if you know what I mean. Artistic nudity allowed. What's that then? Is that like if you're painting your body, let's say? What's it mean? No cartoons or paintings? Drawn? I can draw a cock. Hold on. Twitch. New TOS. Right. Right. Let's see. Okay, okay. Let's read it from the horse's mouth. Let's have a look. We have received consistent feedback there. The such content are confusing. Okie dokie. Streaming up, right? And right. 
Streamlined sexual content policy to be effective policies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, sexual themes, sexual, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. When consultant needs to follow, you know, so, yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Um, uh, we believe accurate, right? Labeling. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Uh, content recommendations for the home page. Um, that's nothing related. We want to make sure the home page was off the first page. Right. Right, um, right. Um, I mean, I'm trying to kind of read it quickly, but uh, maybe I'm skipping it or something. I'm not fucking seeing anything yet that tells me what the change is. Are you? Yeah, I'm not going to fucking read all that. So I kind of quickly go. Da, 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 da. Did anybody see it? I know there's a bit after it. I know there's that. But is there something there? Right, here we go. What do you mean frequently ask questions like you're fucking told is what it is and. You know, for anybody, it's just like, you know, so so tell me again. What's changing? Right. Previously prohibited, but now allowed with label content that deliberately highlighted breasts, buttocks or pelvic region, even when fully clothed. Streamers found it difficult to determine what's prohibited and what was allowed and often for you in addition, former selects got land was outlined with industry standards and resulted female presenting streamers being disproportionate being nice, right? Right, are, are you saying Right, are you saying that what was previously prohibited but is now allowed with a label is Deliberately highlighted breasts, buttocks, or pelvic region, even when... Is that what you're saying? You're saying that's allowed now? Is that what it's saying? Am I reading? Can I read this? Right, just calm down. Right. Even... Right. Okay, right. So, no, providing you put a label on it, it is all right to deliberately highlight breasts buttocks or the pelvic region fully clothed or not is that right because it's saying even when fully clothed was the old rule but now it is allowed so that means if we they fucking negative times fucking negative that means even when not fully clothed is that right Check out the thumbnails in the art category and you'll see what's allowed. Uh, no. They mean only when fully clothed. No, they don't. This is, this is uh, unclear. This is unclear. The, is this bit allowed? But this bit stays. Right, anyway. Uh, right. I don't get it. I don't get it. Right. Fictionalised, drawn, animated, or sculpted, fully exposed, female presenting breasts and or genitals or buttocks regardless of gender. There's a thriving artist community on Twitch and as possible is overly punitive and did not reflect. Right, fictionalised. Full exposed, right, right. Right. Does this mean then that I can draw can I draw a realistic or create a realistic cock or fanny and animate them. Right. Can I animate the cock gone into the fanny? No. Can I animate the cock gone near the fanny? Like the old kind of top shelf magazines of yesteryear. 
Is it artistic? That's subjective. Like, you know, it caught can sort of like be near the sort of near the fire, near the sort of myth or something like that, but no, 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 that's that. Then you go into hardcore and then you're not allowed to put it in fucking 24 hour garages and things like that. Um, body writing on female presenting breasts and or buttocks, regardless of gender, right, allows body up, right? So that's a change, right, right, right. So erotic dances that involve disrobing or disrobing gestures such as strip teases, right? So is this like. Is this is this full tits? Are we talking here? You know, I mean, like complete nudity, nudity, nipples, the lot. Okay, okay. Now I'll be interesting to see um, if they go like that. Right, wait a minute. No, actually, no actual nudity. Oh, what are you on about? You're reading that and go like that. Uh, but as you can see, it says no actual nudity. Where does it say that? That'll be interesting. Be interesting to see um, what becomes of that and if they go like that. All oh, right, well, actually, right, wait a minute. Uh, hold on. We'll see. Erotic dances that involve disrobing orders. I mean, this looks like the full thing. This looks like the, I mean, it says artistic, but, I mean, some some people are going to get fucking banned or suspended or something because they're reading that and going, right, right, so I can go for it now then, and then they go for it and they get fucking suspended. Skipsky and Gary, Inhibitions, John Wedge, Mr. L King, J Balls, thanks for subs. You're very welcome. That's right. My way in 2024, I came up with something uh, last night uh, when I was talking to somebody in a chat. 2024, there's the door. I was lucky, says, I'll be monitoring it heavily with a George Fonby wink. There you go. See, there's the... There's the, the and what coming into you, sir? MX Meme Winnie Northkin Guffner Elvis Small Fry Crumpets Turnip Legs CH Thanks for subs oh, Thanks again Watched the Wicker Man the other day Enjoyed your performance as a bartender I can't remember who that is behind the bar Thank you very much Oh my god I looked at the art category Says Burnt Loaf um, I can't look I, If I was to look on stream Not that I would get in trouble But it would look like I'm fucking Mocking or gone like that. Look at that. My God, would you look at that? And I'm no. Um, changes to popular dances, twerking, grinding, pole dance, and they're allowed without a, without a label. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Right, wait a minute. With the updates to the sexual content or artistic depictions of new day, content with a focus on fictionalised, drawn, animated, or sculpted sexual body parts, regardless of gender, such as doing new, are allowed. Such as the nude figure drawn are allowed with a sexual themes label, have fictionalized sexual acts or masturbation remain prohibited. Right, 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 right. Right. So. It looks like. Um, I don't. The pelvic region, I'm not, I'm not getting that. I'm not getting. Does that is the pelvic region? Does it include genitals? Does it in include genitals? It does. So. Uh, I'm trying try to picture this. I'm trying to picture this. Because it's such a big fucking change that I'm like... Am I reading this right? 
Such a big change. Uh, just look at the art category without sharing with us. Right, hold on. I'll open up that, go into private window. Twitch.tv, and then, uh, well, actually, it's uh, Twitch uh, art. No, that's just brought up streams. Twitch art category. Let's let's Google that, see if that actually does it. Right, there we go. Reject all, there we go. Right. Let's see. Um, somebody's doing a drawing a blank of Street Fighter 2. They cock it. There's something. I've seen tits. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think somebody's uh, uh, doing a 3D cock. Wait a minute. High to low. Right, right. Ah, right. Right. There's one uh, kind of... Somebody from behind sort of bending air. Naked for the waist and cotton balls out, I think. There's a fanny. There's a gigantic fucking cock there. Fanny. Tits. A wolf thing for the waist up, no cock or tits or anything like that yet. Right. I've got I've got to say. I must say. All these fucking art styles uh not not putting anybody down, but all these fucking illustration styles are fucking identical. They're all fucking identical. It's like it's all done by the same fucking person. I mean, you don't you don't see it and go like, oh, here, that's that's a bit of different. It's fucking. It's like this one person came up with some style, and everybody's like, right, that's what we're doing. Every cunt. But I mean, I suppose it's a style, isn't it? It's a style. There's like a, there's like a bit there's like a bit like three styles. There's about three fucking styles in existence, by the looks of it, for what I'm seeing here. And it's either that, that, or that. Two, maybe even two. Listen, I'm no, I can't, I can't draw to save myself, right? I can't draw to save myself. I'm no, I'm not having a go. I'm just saying, right. Uh, and then popular dance, uh, dances, right, sexual content, right, body painting on breasts and buttocks allowed, as long as attire requirements are met. What do you mean? Uh, is that it? Oh. Oh, what, the, what is this? Um, users are prohibited from uh, contains the pictures of real nude which uh, right right so act, uh, right so you kind of show oh you kind of show fucking nipples you just have to fucking see you just don't even know Exposed, it kind of exposed anything. So well, that's that fucked. Because I was thinking, right, what can I do to get you know get the numbers up a wee bit? Not that anybody would go like that. All right, no, just just anything that would add like a wee extra hundred, a wee extra ten percent. I would lose probably about twenty percent though. Gain ten percent, a difference of minus ten percent. 
but there's some right fucking uh, weirdos out there who would like to see um, a 49 year old uh, would like to see ma anus No anybody else's mine. It's funny to think there's some people out there who fancy me. Brahma, Skupski, Cero, Affine, Joel, Pigeon, Skupski, Gary, Inhibitions, Sandwich thinks the subs and bits. So any chance for an artistic stream yet? So so I can draw a cock right now. Hold on, give us a wee second. Let me put this to the test. Let me put this to the test. Um, drawing app. Uh, drawing um, web. I can do that now. It's, it's constantly labelled. My, my stream is always labelled. With sexual themes. It's, it's, it's got the lot. My stream is labelled by default with a lot. Because I was playing, uh, what's its name? New TOS starts in January. I fucking right. So I can do that. I mean, that's on the pubes, mind you. Can I do that? Right, uh, new to in games, who cares? Uh, violence, gambling, yep, 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 yep. Uh, right, so it looks like, I, I still don't quite get it. I mean, it's almost, it, it's like it's almost saying, I, tits, absolutely fine. Yep, Un uh, people unfairly treated, right, and then there's a wee bit saying, somewhere else ne nipples by the way it didn't say that in the main fucking thing none of these look like cocks I think you'll find well you've got to use your imagination our Keith Das Greg thinks of some bits Please let me biscuit chop. I don't know what that is, Greg. I'm sorry, I know you spent 200 bits. Please play Lemmy Biscuit Chocolate Starfish. I don't know what that is. I just don't know what that is. Monk from Havana. Okay, thanks for subs. Nice cock that. Thank you very much. Hello, Germany. Das XTV. Uh, have you seen a video for Rhythmic States and other worlds to say it's fantastic? Can we like, I can't uh, I can't look at it now that you've now that you've asked. Right. I think that's us. Let's play this. Here we go. Is it too loud? No, it's not. Is it too loud? How's the mic, by the way? 
Has anybody encountered any kind of problems? Any kind of problems? I oh, fuck up, I was asked to reverb. What's a fucking wind up merchant that gun is, man? I, I, I think you said something to do with reverb. Reverb! Uh, uh, reverb of the room. Aye. Uh, the reverb of the, the room there. Um. No, that, that, that. No, that doesn't it? No, you can't pick that up yet in, in the game. No, you can't get that yet. You've got to get that first. Do I need to get diamonds for that? Everybody's saying aye. No, no, you don't need to. No, mate, it's in the... You can get it just with, with, with gravel. Gravel's enough. New York City. Jumping floppy and AG only thinks the subs a bits. Hope to see my favourite big cock today, Te Teddy Rogers. Yes! Darren Sir Walls, Hainstock thinks the subs. Big shout out to Abdul for keeping chin up despite Man United's demise. Enjoy Darren. Monk from Havana, thanks, uh, thanks again. Four subs! A ten. Okay. Well, that's what I get for making a new fucking animated emote spit st staying up all night. Wait! Wait! Four subs is what I did! That's a yes! Hold on. He's a saint. That's a yes! I mean, that's fine. I was, I was just kind of actually moaning about it being four subs, but that's that's 15% of the channel points were spent on fucking yes. And you've multiplied anybody who gambled that way, us. You've multiplied your fucking money by about seven. Ron's McDonald's gambled quarter a fucking million. It's multiplied that by about fucking seven. Hey, that's it fucking paid out. Congrats. That is it paid out. Congratulations. Gunk Booster. Um, everybody, I'm just going to fill this water up. In the meantime, Gunk Booster's going to come up. Uh, we are an improv story idea. Peak Boo, don't even, you don't have to say Peak Boo anywhere's a fucking emote for you. But you can see it as well. Oh, here, now the mic's like that. I have to sort of come down here. Who's that? Zakel. Right, hold on. I'll do that. But I'm going to do one VIP before I head downstairs. Please, nobody else. You will, you will only get it. Congrats. Does that mean I have to have my legs in the air all night? Well, I don't have a vase, do I? Um, I got in first, ah, <laughs> um, I just want to remind, uh, I just want to do a big shout out to all the lads out there, especially the ones in their 30s or older, you know, middle age. 
Christmas Eve is on, no, this Sunday, but next. So you can leave your presents right up until Sunday. Getting presents for your family. Or loved one. Or loved ones. So on the Sunday, there's still fucking time on Christmas Eve. Sunday, leave it to Sunday because Nick on will be up that tune. Just go up early. I want to get busy until about one or two o'clock. So keep that in mind. You've got plenty of time. You've got this weekend and next weekend. Your bags of time. John and Kev, Beamont, thanks for subs. Joe Alexander, Jumping Flobby, thanks for subs. Got a new job starting in January, so we'll be joining the VOD crew. Thank you very fucking much. Enjoy the VODs. Uh, you don't want to get hit with all the ads on the, on the VODs. So just make sure you, you remain subscribed. Oh, fucking, just give me a fucking idea, would you? Do you know what? Just leave it. Man gets trapped in Ikea again. Right. Man gets trapped in Ikea. Does that mean I have to have my legs in the air all night? Well, I don't have a vase, do I? Let the story commence. Craig got trapped in Ikea. This is how it happened. He went in, fell asleep, he, he laid down in one of the beds to test it, pulled the cover at himself, and actually was so tired, he went to sleep. When he woke up, all the lights were off. He tried to get out, the door was locked. That means he was trapped in there. He managed to go up to the revolving door and get a push. Just oh, not got, It actually moved a wee bit. He thought, I'll do that. So he kept moving it, moving it, moving it until it, like, it got to the bit where that was him sort of like locked in. You know, he couldn't sort of go out or come in now. He was in that in between a bit. Um, And then it wouldn't move at all, all of a sudden. And Craig turned around and he had keys jangling and it was a Johnny. The Janitor walked up with a kind of wee remote control thing. It was the it was the Janitor that was allowing it to open, and he was Craig could only push it because he was allowing it. The Janitor and the Janitor came up, and Craig was like, "Oh, thank God! Can you let us out?" And the Janitor went like that. Craig went, well, what? And the, the Janet went like that. Press the button. And then see the outsides, the outside was shut. The outside of the revolving door, that shut. Pressing the button. The inside was no shut. So now he was inside this revolving door thing with no way to get out the front or back even if he pushed it around. And he went like that. Started turning this wee knob. The new remote. Um, and it started to turn. Craig had to start walking and turned it mere. Start had to start jogging. And Craig was like, wait, wait in! Oh, oh no, no, wait in! Turned it faster and faster. Until Craig was like that. Like pinned up against the, the door like that. You know, up above up the grin uh, above the grin. But then he was sliding to the outside and he didn't want that because it was like, you know, he'd gone past bits and bobs that were sort of sticking out. Um, 
and he got his um, finger caught at the at the outside but his arm got pulled right off and then the guy went like that you want me to stop hi and he's like rim, 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 rim. press stop and it stopped like that and Craig went slam right against the front bit then the guy went back the way and then forward and kept doing that for quite a bit so if you imagine that going on for a couple of hours because this guy was on a night shift there's nobody fucking turning up Ikea's in the middle of nowhere until uh, the inside was just sloshing about like um, uh, the blood th- uh, coming at the lift and the shining and then the Johnny climbed up in this wee bit and went through this wee vent bit and dropped down into that bit, you know, with the revolving door. You know, it was all nice and watertight. And it was like, and, and he jumped in, it was like a wee paddling pool. And he was like bathing in it and things like that. Before he knew it though, the sun came up and he was like, I think that's me now. The customers were starting to turn up. You could see them some of the early birds, he thought, enough's enough, I think this has went on quite enough now. And he opened the front door and the back door and let all the blood spill out the front. And he kind of went out like as if on a wave, like, oh! Went in, there's a shower up there. Um, Got showered, change of clays. He thought, I'd better clean up that blood at the front. People going to ask questions. He went out. Some people are like, is that blood? They went like, it's up at the butchers. And here, you've got a butcher? Well, where would you think the meatballs come from? And he went, oh, right. He went like, don't tell anybody though. And they went like, how no? He says, because the bad man will get you. The end. So that's about the bad man. And that's a true story. Want to know how? See the bad man? He's behind you! Got you! Got you! That'll fucking learn you. That'll learn you. What though? Stare. Good start. Place. Good. Funky. Good. Oh. Oh, uh, oh, un, un, um, alli, all, allum, 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 gollum. Remember there's such a thing as, um, Oh, uh, but bull. All right, no, it's that's got an e at the end, isn't it? Uh, plus, it's a French. It's French loan word, though. Um, um. Le, le, le. 
Let's get loud. Lover. Type any anything and then do that. Oh. Right, just at the end, the, the clock's ticking. Do anything, anything at all. Anything at all. Oh, wait a minute. Is that something? Is that what? What the fuck is that? Right. Hmm. That's not an L, it's not an L, L. Would there, be, would there be something in the ends of an L? Not, wouldn't it? I don't think so. Unless it's two L's. Right. Um. Uh, 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 uh. Jill. Um, bow. Mo. I don't know. Oh, owl. De de just type anything. Type, type this just to see what it looks like. Can you think of any word that ends with a Like that. Nothing, I can't think of anything that ends with an L at the very end. So it's um, something like... Oh. Oh, come on. Hey! Hey! Purple rains. Mectos sips and look. Thanks for the subs. How are you? Long time no see. Do you know what I was thinking of playing re recently? Um, and I decided against it. Um, satisfactory. I was tempted to play Satisfactory for my own amusement, everybody. Because I was, I was playing it ages ago. Sips was playing it as well. Um, and I, I know Sips is just a bit ahead of where I was. And then I sort of like, I don't know, maybe didn't play it for a day or kind of took my time. And then I looked at where Sips was and he was like, far, far ahead. And then I had another look and then I think it was like multi-level stuff and I watched some other people and it was like, um, tall as fuck, rails that went on forever, jetpacks a lot. But, um, and I thought, no, I'm not getting into that. But I'm really tempted to fucking get into it. Skyrim survival mode? I've never heard it. Uh, Stardew Valley, I'm into that. Uh, satisfactory is something I could really fucking get into. Really get into. The future of work uh, requires the future of work requires one critical skill. This is how to develop it. Thanks. The Coliseum will get made, everybody. I will I will make it. I will make it at some point. I will. Um what other quizzes that well fucking said? Well when did we all stop smiling and forties? Well said. Lynn has said this. Nobody fucking smiles in pictures anymore.
Right. See, see, is it is it movie dome? I'm never playing it. So I'm going to have one glance, right? What the fuck is this? Is that it? No, 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 no. That's the bad one. That's shite. Actor though is shite. Framed. I don't think I'm ever going to play this again. Because... I could go, uh, oh, I think that's maybe, um, you know, so, let, let, let's say I went like that, right? Let's say I went Transformers, right? In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to train spotting. Um, right, and then like, let's just say I you know, did the first thing there. Oh, there I did that. Right, Auntie Hopkins. Uh, I recognise her, but I don't know who he is. Right, and what's his name? Don't know. She she looks a bit familiar. Right, see this? See Red 2? Not only have I never seen Red 2 and would be unable to guess that, but Nacon has seen Red 2. So, see then this quiz, see then friend. It's a lot of fucking shite. Pat the Baker, Clunky Bones, thanks for subs. And I know I keep saying this, but whereas we would do, I know the word would or could. I know that. I'm just having difficulty fucking finding it. That's the word. This, it wouldn't matter if I'm, it wouldn't matter if I'm like, can you imagine just sitting here going, I think it might be this, I think it might be that. And then you, you find out it's fucking red too. So that shite. What's the other one again? Herdo. What? What's that? What's the other one? I kind of do. No, Octodo. Context. Contexto is bad. Contexto. Type of word. I, I've done this before and I think it's um, shite. Find the secret word you have unlimited guesses. The words were sorted by an artificial intelligence al algorithm according to how similar they were to the secret word. After submitting the word, you'll see its position. They say, I I've played this before. Um, and by the way, can I just say, it isn't the artificial intelligence, right? It's just a bit of fucking programming. Are we just using that term for everything now? Right, so I'm going to, I'm going to go like that. Right? I'm going to take the word uh, gold, right? So that's saying, I think number one would mean that's the word. Right, so I'm going to go like that. Um, car. Right, nowhere near it. Right, brick. Nowhere near it. Metal. It's a bit closer, right? Steel. It's still that close. I'm going to do anything. Light. Light. Bright. Sun. No. Shine. Like, see that? You would think, oh, I'm getting closer and see that final word. It could be something like fucking astronaut. No, never near it. Uh, cat, uh, bright, shine, light, mirror, reflect, glass, twinkle, bright, shine, right, so look, bright, shine, glass, light, uh, torch, not never near it, star, um, just the electricity, nowhere near it, bright, shine, bright, uh, they random words, keyboard, finger, water, 
Um, sparkle. Rand random words. Number. Print. Oh. Poster. Print. Uh, neon. I'm just going to guess in a couple of fucking minutes. Letter. Word. Bright shine print. Glass. Light. You might think, oh, um, it's maybe something they'd be like neon signs or something like that. Window. Um, film. No. Right, watch this, right. No, I'm not going to fucking do this anymore. Bright. Um, bright, shine, print, glass light. Bright. Glow. Shade. Sky. Uh, Fire, heat, white, right, yellow, red, flame, no, white, red, bright, yellow, right, um, flag, bun. Um, saturation, color, right, color, um, right, white color, red, shape, this takes fucking ages, that's a fucking stream color, this, blue, primary, secondary, Paint. Oh, right. We're getting closer. Paint, white, blue. Wall. Mural. Art. Painting. That does not, doesn't work like that. Uh, mix. Green. Green, blue, white. Paint, white, blue, coloured. Uh, paint's quite close. Uh, brush. Mm, mosaic. Um, impression. Art. Artist. Frame. Decorate. Flower. Right, I'm no fucking spending my fucking life doing this. Suggest words. Gloss. Some of you will already know this, by the way. You're going to try and be a smart ass and just, just tell me the fucking thing. Coat. Coat. It's coat. You see, it's shite. It's fucking shite. Exactly why is white closer than blue? Because many people have got like maybe like the the they would use a, a coat, coat something with white paint than they would with blue. You just waste your fucking time going like that, right? Right, I'm getting closer, right, right, right. I'm getting closer, and it's like coat. I'm never touching that again. What's the what's the time one? What's the picture that you got to work out when it, when it was? Time guesser. That's the geography one, right? So I'm going to put that in the hurdle thing. So it all opens at the one time and I can just fucking whiz through it. This here is... Um, 
Iraq. Zoom it. You don't know where Iraq is, don't you know? Let's go there. Uh, let's go to 2003. 19 years up was this? Outside a bakery which was destroyed after Israeli airstrikes, uh, refugee camp. 2023, right. This is, you can't see. What are you on about? All right. Um, this kind of goes, this kind of goes against my, um, look at that. Uh, my try to keep, you know, keep a light um, mission for my stream. Conroy Beans, a Jomo thinks of subs and bits. Wiki play play wiki but try play wikihoo.com. I'll have I'll think about that. I'll have a wee look at that. Jod thinks of sub. Play wiki who. Oh, what if it's fucking, you know, some dodgy as fuck cunt with that thing. Is it a wolf? Real Atomic Jeep, Pat the Baker, Clunky, thinks of subs. Ah, oh, I'm nice and stuff. Defo miss my sub, says Mag. Mag, thanks for the, the, the sub, Gaza Reap, John, Kev. Uh, Noodlum, Mick Toast, thanks for subs. Why does Jimmy Neal have a long nose? He's lying, nice one. This is a, a happy birthday to your fiancé, Dan. Thanks for introducing... Uh, Mike Swell to me. What is that? That's funny, that, isn't it? Be fucking anywhere at any time. Plonk it some in the middle of Europe. Uh, 2013. New Zealand. Two years off. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the motor. Don't be fooled. No, no, the motor's genuine. This is This is Argentina. <laughs> This is without question Argentina. That's Argentina. I know Argentina. Right there. And that is without question Uh, let me see that boat again. This is without without question 1976 in Argentina. Cuba. 19 years off. It was in 95. 90 fucking five. Now who's in whose house? Who's in whose house? A book about Ireland? Right, this is um Bang right there. 
bang right there. Uh, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton. Uh, when the fuck were they? When, when was he? I can't even remember. Day, day 95. When it was up. When it, George Bush and then him and then W. Bush, I think. Can I fucking remember? When was he in? I can't remember. George W. Bush then. So go about 95. Three years off. Uh, kind of close, Dublin, 98, I was five kilometres away. Um, Glastonbury? I don't know where Glastonbury is. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's up here a bit or down there a bit. Fuck, I'm just gonna plonk it there. Um and of day sixty two. Nine years off, seventy one, Glastonbury. Where is it? It's there, is it? Glastonbury's there. Oh there it is. Right, I see. Right, so so uh, give me give me two other wee quizzes before I go into fucking three, two, one. Bad cat Conroy, thanks to subs. Chrono. Chrono, right. Bando. There's no point in doing these things. There's no point in doing things well. Um And I go, is that the wonder what band that is? And I don't know. I've n you could play the fucking song or whatever it is. I wouldn't know them. It needs to be something I might fucking know. This here's without question 19, uh, uh, 1910. Without question. 1907. Yep. Plunk that in there. <coughs> what? You got a computer? That says nineteen A A eight. This is nineteen eighty eight, no question. Ninety one, three years off. This says not a single person take look. Oh, what's that? Standard camera, not a single person. Look, nobody taking any pictures with their phone. Living in the fucking moment. That is without question. Nineteen ninety. Five. Ninety three. That's your nineteen oh four, if I've ever seen it. Nineteen hundred.
72, 71. Well done, me. I done no bad. Right, give me one more, one, one final thing. Please, Mr. M Michael Pacino. Dog bomb thinks up your limit, your solo go with Leatherface. Fucking. I want to go in just to fucking annoy people. Uh, Redacto, I'm not into that. Uh, I've tried it, it was interesting for a bit. Swear don't know. Uh, Wiki who? What was that one that said? Play Wiki who? Wait a minute. I was told to play something that I, I, it's actually got the word play in it. Play Wiki who? Like that? Guess the person from the wiki? No. No, this is shite. This is shite. Why is it shite? Because I could do a million guesses, then got shown the person, and I wouldn't know who the fuck it is. Another one, please. Sweet stone. That'll be another shite one. Because I'll go like that, is it this, is it that? And it'll be some American thing I've never seen. The fact it's called Sweet Still. Oh, you, you, did you just make that up? NYT Connections. You have to group words by... Oh, no, no. What's this? Fish base, flounder, salmon, trout, fat. What? Just do it, do it. Create for group. Fuck off. Something interesting. Not an actual fucking. No, then it's all dull. You will know who it is on Play Wiki Who, but I'm not even going to try it. Just because you've told me I'll know who it is. I don't want to get into it, you know, like date the morrow and then date on Monday. Man, come on, it's got to be something else. Movie though is good, not Isn't he? City Guesser, uh, hmm. Can you guess what city you're in? Um, oh. Right, uh, mute please, mute, mute, mute. Or turn down. So far, London. Wait a minute. Virtual Vacation US. What's that up at all? That's America. Is it no? UK taxi. Right, click. All right, start guessing. Southampton. <sighs> Come on, give me another. Give me a good one. What's a good fucking? Give me one last. One last good one. One last good quiz. That fucking geoguess are shite. I see something. Uh, I'm, I'm in a fucking field. Uh, a wee road next to a field. Um, right, let's walk down there. Right. Uh, let's walk even further. Let's walk even further. And even further. Right, that's saying that's in Spanish. Right, so that could be that. That could be that. Look at that. Let's walk a wee bit further. Let's walk a wee bit further. I want something. I play it. And it's like done and dusted within about a minute. Come on, there's got to be something. I know there's got to be. There's got to be a good thing. Flaggle. Guess the flag. 
Ehm. Da te? Da te? What is this? What am I looking at? I click on something if I is it split into six bits like this or if I reveal something, if I click on something? This is shape. What is this? Is it a flag that, that kind of What are these lines? Six attempts, six blocks, click, double click. Is there a word somewhere that, that I've had to scroll up or down? Is something revealed, is something loaded in? This is pish. I'm not looking at the chart right now because I'm trying to work it out for myself. Right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Guess the flag in six guesses or less. Each time you make a guess, it will reveal another portion of the flag, right? You mean I've got to make a, a, I've got, you what? You mean I've got to make an absolute fucking stab in the, uh, uh, stab in the dark? You mean I've got to, on my first attempt, make an absolute, un, utterly fucking uninformed stab in the fucking dark? Oh, I suppose it's like, I, it's like, what do? It's like, what do I suppose I? Um, let's start with, just pick anything really, North Korea, uh, what's that, can't remember, um, Pakistan, Egypt, oh wait a minute, green, white, um, no I think Pakistan's mostly green, is that, is that a third? Does that take up that? Would that... Ireland would be green, white, and... Is this a... Uh... I can't remember. Is that Italy? Oh wait, oh shit, I'm looking here, I'm looking here. Right, 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 right. So, that means what? What does that mean? Um, right. I'll reveal another portion of the flag and give you a geographical hint. The hint tells you how far away your guess was and the arrow points towards the target country. Right, towards it. So I did North Korea and it's saying... It's 7,000 down that way. Right. Right, I see. So it's to the... So it's all the way down that way for Italy. So... Is that kind of mid Middle East? Wait a minute. What's the, what's the flag for Bangladesh? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh! Right, so, uh, Africa. Um, shit. I don't know. Um, Democratic Republic of the Congo. I don't know if this is... No, I'm just making fucking guesses now. Bangladesh, that's that way. Um, go to Egypt just for a giggle. To the east of Egypt? Oh, I'm fucking right out. Right. Um, what'd that be? Wouldn't be 
Like, Kuwait would it? Oh, you fucking bastard. United Arab Emirates. Silly me. Silly me. Come on. I can... Give me another one. Give me another one. No, no, I want another one. Bonus round, please. What? What is the shape of United Arab Emirates? It is that. It's that. I pick the flag of the country that neighbours it. Um, that. And that. That's maybe Malaysia. That. Come on. Population. 25 million. Right, right, give me another one. Ah, forget it. Right, everybody, let's go with 3, 2, 1. How's it going, everybody? The bittersweet signs. Boxing is reputed to fight Parkinson's disease. I put on the gloves to find out. I beg your pardon? Fight Parkinson's disease? Uh, what? You mean cause? What are you on about? Uh, what? Fro uh, Frocon and THFC thanks for subs. I'm heading to Gdansk. Tomorrow, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Any recommendations? Check out Joy's uh, Pizzeria. And Mikhail Pacino thinks a sub. Spent a day looking at after Greg Wallace as a runner in 2014. He spoke about how much he loved Scotland all day and backed independence. Top block. Bet you treat runners like you treat your mods. I'm no, I'm not going to go, oh, you like Scotland. Oh, that's all right then. Listen, I've not got anything against Greg Wallace. Right, holidays abroad we have done. Delete bookmark. Cabaret, everybody. Who's into a bit of cabaret? Yeah. There we fucking go. Here we go. He will shake the hands of three people. Now you know what? Four. I'm a gambler. Four. I mean, I say four, and I've heard that. That's four, by the way. That's not three. That's fucking four. One. Two. Three. One mil, one mil, one mil, one mil. That kid. Once again, good evening, everybody, and welcome to another happy heat helping of three, two, one. Now you've. Uh, would there be right in saying it needs to be just a bit louder? Again, good evening, everybody, and welcome to another. Is that all right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Once again, it's a wee bit louder. I think that's a three to one. It is not a three to one. Trust me. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another happy heat helping of. Right now, what we need to decide is right. Are we getting, are, are we saying that's three? Like the pinky comes down there, right? At some point, he is holding up three fingers. It's all blurry. Let's give him a three. Let's. You know what? Let's say that's three. Three. One. That was a three, three, one. One. Now you've you've heard of Sing Along a Max. Well, this is Finger Along a Ted. <laughs> We've got a marvelous studio audience here. Called, you've heard of Sing Along a Max. Well, this is Finger Along a Ted. <laughs> We've got a marvelous studio. Now you've you've heard of Sing Along a Max. Well, this is Finger. I'll go back, girl. Ted. 
Tet. Another happy heaped helping of three, two, one. Now you've you've heard of Sing Along and Max. Well, this is Finger. I see. Mm. It's just um... no. Fuck it. Four. Three. One again. Dead. We've got a marvellous studio audience here. Of course, one or two people couldn't get here tonight. Michael Parkinson was coming tonight. You know Michael Parkinson. He's the fellow who attends school reunions in disguise. <laughs> Hold on. Um, what? Is that dodgy? No, I think... Michael Parkinson, they're saying it as if he did uh, This Is Your Life. I don't think he did do that. Michael, no, it was other, who's that, who's that other cunt? I keep getting them mixed up. 1981, it wasn't even him who did, um, what's his name? Michael Aspel. I, I think it was Eamon Andrews, but uh, 1981. Was it? Is he fucked that up? No. What does it fucking mean? It must be a very topical thing. Something just came out just the week before. Maxi and Mr. Persimmon, dog bomb. Bad cat. Conroy thinks the subs. Having a mare. All the best to you. Oh, and Arthur Scargill was coming tonight, but he couldn't find anywhere to park at YTV. <laughs> no. No, right, no, come on. Arthur Scargill uh, in charge of the minor strike or whatever it was. Uh, what's the park thing? Could you find anywhere to park? <laughs> Anybody know? Find anywhere to park at YTV? <laughs> no. Protesters. That isn't it, that sub-range doesn't make any, any sense, that. You couldn't find anywhere to park. Protesters? That'll be it. <laughs> they found him a place now, the river. And um, the, the Australian cricket captain was coming, Greg Chappell, but he's at the chemist trying to get some underarm protection. <laughs> This is all topical stuff. This is like stuff. This is hot after fucking press in 1981. We don't get it. Hot after press stuff in 1981. As always, everybody's here, ladies and gentlemen, our delightful girls, our surprise guests. We've got oh, lots of money. We've got loads of prizes, of course. And, of course, we've got one little stumbling block. You know who that is, yes? Our metal Mickey taker looked after, as always, by the delightful Karen Palmer with Dusty Ben. Yeah. Here she is. show this week is cabaret. Wait, 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 Mike, Michael, 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 huh? you're not Karen. Uh, oh, you noticed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, well, where is Karen? Well, it's, uh, Bin. Bin? Yes, Bin. Bin, Bin and gone. Well, what do you mean, she's been and gone? Karen, she, she got locked in the dressing room. Well, there is a spare key, isn't there? Yes, I'm the only one who has the spare key. <laughs> I'll see you in about a month. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> in the dressing room. Well, there is a spare key, isn't there? Yes, I'm the only one who has the spare key. <laughs> I'll see you in about a month. <laughs> Very true. What's he saying? Is he saying that he's got her locked in the the spare room and he's going to be spending a month well kidnapped type of thing okay okay let me elite partner thanks to subs
1981, this is the humour that I grew up with by the way, this is family entertainment to me and I have to tell you, it has an effect. It whops you. <laughs> well, okay. As you can see, folks, of course, Dusty's dressed up as a man about town because, well, the theme of our show this week is cabaret. That sophisticated form of nightclub that, well, it goes on in nightclubs, in restaurants and hotels throughout the world. But right now, meet the first on our bill tonight. As always, the most important people here are contestants. Absolutely. Where they say? That's it, Ted. Very fair. Come on. Where's tonight's contestants for? That's it. From Gateshead, here are Jim and Joan Hallock. Right, Gateshead. Okay. Calm down. From Holmford, Richard and Janet Poulain. Oh, Holmford. Right. By the way, it's not too loud, is it? It's not, like, loud as fuck, is it? Is it all right? It's good. Right? Right, good. 1981, thanks to the subs, thank you very much. From it's Dockport, perfect. Good. Michael and Jane Eyre. Where, where? From Dockport, Michael Dockport. and Jane Eyre. Dockport. Could you just fucking shut up? Shut up. What was that again? Shut up a minute. Me, yeah, no way. Okay, they must, be, they must be newlyweds. They only met last year, be something like that. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we start with three couples. Remember, at the end of the quiz, we have two couples left to play our elimination game, leaving one couple to go home. We hope with a good prize tonight. Let's meet our first couple who are Mike and Jane Eyre from Stockport. Right, yes, Jane Eyre. Michael and Jane, Jane Eyre. Now, there's a novel That's name. Right. <laughs> now, Jane, you're a housewife and a mother. I believe here it says you met Michael in a club. That's right. And what was significant about that? Well, it was called The Sinking Ship. And not long after we met there, it burnt down. Oh. <laughs> Something um, in there. It just burnt down there. <laughs> Sinking ship burnt down. It's now the Incredible Hulk. Is yeah. it? Michael here, what sort of job do you do? I'm <laughs> Sinking ship burnt down. It's now the Incredible Hulk. Is yeah. The Incredible Hulk. Uh, what's a Hulk in terms of uh, a boat? Did they say bulk or hulk? Hull? Hull? It just burned down there. Sinking ship burnt down. It's now the Incredible Hulk. Yeah. Oh, he just said hull. Right, I, I didn't hear if there's a K sound or no. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. I miss a lot of jokes because of my, my hearing and that, you know. Michael, what sort of job do you do? I miss it. I really miss it a lot. I feel quite left out. I'm an advertising manager for a Ford main dealer in Stockport. Yay! So you go to the motor show, do you? Uh, yes, yes. I've only been about twice to the motor show. I love the way they drape the girls across the car. <laughs> <laughs> New Amor in the chat, everybody. That's not quite a, a sort of double meaning thing, mind you. That's just straightforward. Yes, yes. I've only been about twice to the motor show. I love the way they drape the girls across the car. That's the, the best part of it. How do you feel about the jam? Japanese building over here like they're going to. What a fucking programme. What a time. What a fucking era. I was... <laughs> I, 81, so I was six. I love the way they, they drape the, the girls over the motor. And he's like, aye, oh, that's the best bit. That's the best bit. Don't tell the wife. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, what do you make about the uh, Japanese building the motors out here? I mean, what do, what's, your, what's your opinion of that? Like they're going to, they say they're going to build out here. What do you think of that? What do you think of that, mate? It's all right, you can talk to her. Just, all right. Girls across the car. That's the best mate. part of it. How do you feel about the Japanese building? Oh, there was an edit, everybody. Did you hear clapping just suddenly kind of die down for nothing? You hear that? I love the way they drape the girls across Listen, the car. That's the best part of it. How do you feel about... You hear that? 
He said that's the best part of it. She obviously, well, he probably said something like, oh, I don't know. Uh, she doesn't look too happy. And then she said something, he said something, and then had a wee round of applause. And then, right, edit. The Japanese building over here like they're going to? Uh, not very happy. No, I'm sure honest. you're not. No. Because they're going to build a, a car plant here in a depressed area. At the moment, there's three likely places, Merseyside, Wales, and the Labour Party headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have your questions. And with your questions, we've got Alison Temple Savage. Alison? Fucking get in. Yeah. Chronically underused. Alison? It's funny. It's funny. He, he, he was a, a, a Tory. Um... He was at that party conference or something, you know, uh, on stage. And um, so it was Kenny Everett, funnily enough. But then he, now and again, he does say things about unemployment levels and kind of uh, strange, kind of, not Kenny. I he went on and I, I, I don't know why the fuck he did that. But, um, you know, went on with his big sort of foam horns pointing about things like that Labour closed the pirate radios oh I see I don't know what they were thinking maybe, they were, maybe at the time they were thinking um, oh there's all these strikes and bin bags piling up and uh, I don't know blackouts, brownouts or whatever Fuck knows. And they went, um, don't really know, don't really care, just want something to change. No, no, let's, let's not make excuses. Before fucking section 28, before actual, actual, actual Thatcherism, maybe they thought, it's just about a change. Maybe. Probably no. Could be impresario. Paul, thanks for subs. Try to let Ted off the hook. But. Right, come on. Alison Temple Savage, save the fucking day. <laughs> save the day. Alison, what's this I hear about you? Fancy a job? Fancy a job on the high seas or something? That's right. It's always been my ambition to, to be on the high seas. Well, no, surely not all those stormy oceans. No, I want to walk around the cinema with a tray saying, I seas, I seas, come and get your I seas. <laughs> well, a couple of more jokes like that and you might well be doing it, but would you like to <laughs> select your envelope, please, Mike? Okay. Ted, you okay, fucking Alison, dickhead. You fucking twat. Aye, Ted probably fucking wrote it. You fucking arsehole. Your pal's fucking rancid. Seas, I... Those stormy oceans. No, I want to walk around the cinema with a tray saying, I seas, I seas, come and get your eyes seas. People fucking laughed and they clapped. Yeah. And they, 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 they liked it. And he's like, well... A couple of more jokes like that and you might well be doing it, but would you like to <laughs> select your envelope, please, Mike? Okay. Okay, Alison, thanks very much indeed. You might be out a fucking job because if, if the writer set shop with male jokes, uh, shite jokes, Ted felt, felt threatened exactly. Ah, right, we go, we go, Alison. Ah, oh, nice one, nah, but seriously, thanks. Just, it's just a wee. The weird reminder, this is my programme. I'm going to be here. And you're it, and it's not even your fault. It's the writer. Now, you know we like you to answer all two. I don't get the joke. She wants to work <laughs> on the... It's been my ambition. What's this I hear about you? Fancy your job? Fancy your job on the high seas or something? That's right. It's always been my ambition to, to be on the high seas. Well, no, surely not all those stormy oceans. No, I want to walk around the cinema with a tray saying, I seas, I seas, come and get your ice seas. <laughs> um, they used to sell ice cream in the 
uh, at the pictures in the cinema. They still do it, not in the place, in the actual, they'd be doing the front, they'd be doing the fucking front to the side. I try to remember if there was actual, uh, if, I, if they had intermissions when I used to go to the, the pictures. I mean, when I started going to the pictures. I have a feeling they maybe didn't. I might have seen something that had an intermission. Maybe, I might be imagining it though. But I definitely remember they had somebody doing the front. They had, you could get stuff before you came in, right? But they had st somebody doing the front and to the left sometimes. Um, like just standing there with a tray and you could sort of go, I'm just going to nip down there and you get something, you nip back. Um, but she did clearly say high C's. High C, she clearly said it with the H. It would work if you were, say, Barbara Windsor, kind of Cockney accent, just like that. The I C's, you know, like that. Well, a couple of more jokes like that and you might well be doing it, but would you like to <laughs> select your envelope, please, Mike? OK, OK, Alison, thanks very much indeed. Now, you know we like you to answer alternately. <clears throat> Ladies first, of course. A couple of ways you can be stopped if you make a mistake. Of course. Or if you run out of time. If you don't know an answer, please say don't know. We get on to the next question. Do let you have one to start with. This question is about months of the year and number of days in each. Now, mm -hmm. we will give you the month and we want you to give us the total number of days in each month, all right? I've said it before, but... Um... Clary, Louise, uh, Jay Steaders, Nugget, Siren, Clapper. Thanks to the subs. Chris, ATS is back on. Thanks to the bits. Um, Livy, uh, you will remain a non-mod. Uh, you have been cast down with the um, uh, with the Hoi Polloi, but just to show there's no hard feelings. Uh, there's a VIP for you. But I simply cannot have a mod uh, on social media uh, call into question my morality. I understand. We're <laughs> back on here. I get it. I get it. But it's just a simple fact that we're all we're all guilty, and um. There's just something that's just not quite sitting right with me there. Kind of, you know, kind of shooting for the shadows, sort of shooting, shooting for the shadows and my replies going, you know, how do you justify, you know, just something, something, something about that doesn't seem mod like. Kind of shooting for the shadows, something, a sniping rifle come poking out for a windy. For the shadows and a hedge, yes. And I grab the gun and I pull it out, and there's you. String stuck. Thanks to the sub. I Scooby Doo reveal. I <laughs> let's see, let's see who it is. I fucking, I should have fucking known it. I mean, we're talking about. I mean, we're talking about modern leaks now, aren't we? I mean, we're talking about what's that? Three years of modern leaks. I just need to go back, air everything, and go. How did this get out? And now I know. I lucky they can't talk in there, right enough. Hmm. We'll start you with du June, which has give us a year and number of days in each. Oh, I was going to say, see that 30 days, half, November, something, something, and something, it's shite, isn't it? I mean, it, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't, it, no, 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 uh, September, no, 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 uh, November, is that the end of the November? December. 
30 days have women. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So three months we are ember at the end. And ember. And ember. That could be December, November, September. You can't remember. Can't remember. And then the other ones. Have September. Do, do, do. And the Denver. What was they too? That could be April, May, and September. That could be April, June, and September. That could be June, July, and September. There's no way to remember it. It doesn't fucking mean anything. It's not a very good uh, mnemonic or whatever the fuck you would call it. And then the wee bit that comes after it is is it all falls to pieces. Hold on. Thirty days. Hath. Hath. They thought they were so fucking clever back then with the Hath stuff. No, 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 ha no, here we go. 30 days, Hath. They think just by going Hath, that's it. It's dead clever what they're saying. 30 days, Hath, September, April, June and November. All the rest have 31 except February. 28 days clear and 29 and each I mean look 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 how much that just falls apart there 30 days hath September April June and November so far so good and then except February 28 except February 28 days clear all the syllables like you know, the poetry, what do you call it? The, uh, the fucking cadence meter, whatever the fuck you call it. It's all fucked. Cadence. Cadence, sorry. Cadence. 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 They apologise. Cadence. Cadence. It's like, write that just now. Right, that's what we want to put in. That We want to get that idea across. And then we'll... Take a syllable out here and there, reword it just so it kind of. Tom still thinks it's three quid. The best laugh of three to one was that prize couple in uh, 1300 quid worth of leather gear, briefcases, trench coats, trousers, a lot. I fucking vaguely remember it. I vaguely remember it. Super and Ballot Boy thinks it's subs. I love like blood. Um, killing joke, R.I.P. thingy. Well, show thanks to three quid. Happy to report that Threads is now back on for those of us back in Europe, for better or for worse. So Threads is in Europe now. Is that it been approved? And and there's 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 something like because see Dead by Daylight, the official Dead by Daylight Threads account it hasn't posted for about six fucking months. They're not even they're not even just cross posting. I know you might be thinking who gives a fuck about Dead by Daylight, but they're not even cross posting. They're not even just going like, outright fuck it. Press that button, post it Twitter, and post the Threads, and post it here, and post it there. They're not even they're not even bothering to just click a fucking button because. I think maybe a lot of places just go like that. Look, see the fact we kind of post, uh, like Ot Starver, for example, um, is in Spain. He's Spanish. I don't know if he's in Spain, but um, like, fuck it. He kind of see threads, I'm assuming. So what's the point in posting it? And maybe there's other companies in other positions just like, there's no point. We're not in France. We're not in Spain. We're not in fucking Italy. We're not anywhere. No. And, and I think now it's all starting to get a bit connected to, I don't know, the whole Fediverse thing, whatever the fuck that is. Basically some sort of standard for messaging or something, um, whatever the fuck it is. That, I don't know, people on Mastodon can now read stuff on threads and vice versa or something. I don't fucking know. Activity pub, by that kind of thing. Um, so I'm hoping... As somebody who's now exclusively well, on threads and known Twitter, me, um, that just these wee things, because honestly, see, sometimes you post on threads, 
you do get replies to people who you kind of know and all that, but see the chance of, if you care about these sorts of things, see the chance it's something you saying sort of spreading a wee bit and getting people replying to you and that kind of thing. It's just quite slim compared to Twitter. Well, there's Twitter in the past, I don't know. So, I, how do I justify being on threads uh, after what uh, Mark Zuckerberg did to um, help upend democracy? The attempt to. Courtney, thanks to the sub. Thank you very much. Super. Thanks, thank you very much. Get Street Fighter 4 and no, I'm fucking shit at it. Um, that's awesome. I. How'd you justify streaming on Twitch and Amazon subsidiary? Yeah. So, hopefully, something happens. I just want more people on it. I want more people on it. And we will this question if you say don't. utterly talking to myself. I've got 40,000 followers and that's fucking magic. But despite 40,000 followers, you know, like you, you post something, five likes. You could say, I could ask myself, what is it I want? What do I want for threads? Am I trying to get people to come on here? Um, on Twitch? I don't think it's going to make that much an impact. I think any cunt who's going to come here is here. Sort of. I've got more fucking, more followers here on, on, on Twitch than fucking threads. Um, Levy says, don't interact. He blocks. Um, I certain interactions, I do, I do block. Yep. As is my right. To protect my peace. Protecting my peace. Fucking post a picture, man. Fucking cropping in the t-shirt, seeing the label in the t-shirt. Couldn't help but seeing or that in the label your t-shirt there. It says George, but Asda. Do you know where that they make the George t-shirts? No, how what? I'm not saying anything. Well, what is it? Sweatshops or something? What well, I don't know. Do you know, though? I don't know. No, what? Well, I don't know. I'm just saying, have you even bothered to do the research? So you don't actually know. I'm saying that you don't know. You don't know, Lemmy. You just buy T-shirts with no... You don't even do the research. Where's this made? How's this made? Lemme, you said you, you had a cup of coffee this morning. Can I ask where you got your coffee? You can ask, but I'm not telling. Just say, have some guts. It's Nescafe Gold Blend. Nescafe. What a surprise. The man who still plays Overwatch, despite everything that happened, is not a big nest cafe? What are they called Monsanto or something like that? Sure, microphones are powered by hate. Do you know how they get the components for a microphone? Do you know? Let me. Can you justify having a microphone, please? Conflict minerals. I don't know how they make a microphone, no. Right, it's a simple fact you don't know. You don't check. You don't check. That's what gets me, Lemmy. It's not the fact that I know for a fact it was made in an unethical way and it's unethical to the planet and the people who get the resources and all that. It's the fact that you don't know and you don't check that really gets me, Lemmy. Aye, but... But we're all... Was that... Is that more what about today, Lemmy? 
I called you out first. Let's deal with you first, Lemmy. Then we deal with me. You first. Uh, microphone's mine from Indiana Jones 2. Excuse me, Indiana Jones 2? That's not how you name the fucking films. So Indiana Jones and the Templar Doom. You don't say fucking uh, Star Wars 3. It's Return of the fucking Jedi. In fact, 3 is uh, for, um, Avenger of the Sith. Tell me. That one for the blooper reel. Episode three will suffice, I. I don't know. This is why you see people. That, 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 this, this, this is why I've, tr I've tried to dismantle every fucking remnant of community, sense of community, in this community. Because the fucking mail that we ru rub shooters, the mail we don't get on, and I don't mean me and yous. I mean. Every fucking cunt here with each other and me. The stream starts, the stream fucking ends. No Discord, nothing. I've even taken myself off a of fucking Twitter and put myself on threads. Isolation fucking chamber. Sensory deprivation fucking chamber. Nothing there. Solitary confinement. That's how committed I'm here. Bin raids, they're, they're getting fucking binned and all. The community is hanging on by a thread. That makes you appreciate what's, what's here. You appreciate life when you're at the edge of fucking death. That's why I'm, that's why I'm appreciating life a lot more. So I feel older and more and more aware of my mortality. The idea of topping myself now, like I used to fucking have, it's just becoming like, what's the fucking point? You're going to pop your clogs with natural causes anyway, soon. A bit daft. Right, here we go. Here we are. You won't even eat chocolate. I feel better after chocolate. I really do. I really do feel better after chocolate, after biscuits and all the rest of it. Mentally, I feel better. It's not just like a weight thing and or some sort of self-fucking-image thing or anything like that. Um, I feel better. I'll tell you something, like this T-shirt I'm wearing, never. this would have been fucking skin tight six months ago. Now it's sort of hanging off me a bit. Um, right, anyway. I had this t-shirt. When was this? Fucking 10 years ago? 12 years ago? Vines era. Lynn said to us, I think you need to start eating a bit more. You look like you're dying. I said, I fucking eat. I eat. She says, you're not eating enough. I eat. Big bowl of fucking porridge. And then I have uh, normally chopped up eggs in a cup at lunch. I don't experience um, hunger. I have not been experiencing hunger. If anything, see when I, uh, if I go, I really fuck, I'll eat more porridge. I get to a point where I feel my belly starting to, you know, it's fucking all full up and I get that kind of food coma way. Whereas, see, like, ten years ago, when I was really trying to lose weight, cycling all the time and hardly fucking eating, I was experiencing hunger all the time. I always saw it as a fucking mission. A wee, a test of myself. That was um, becoming a, a, a not, a, not a, an actual big problem. No anything like fucking anorexia, any kind of eating disorder, but it was certainly, I seen it as a, it was unhealthy. I was going like, see if I can get lighter, see if I can get lighter, see if I can, get, see, see if I can just be hungry put up with being hungry 
that's not what I'm fucking doing. Cutting out all the shite and I feel fucking better. Drink some whole milk. I've been having whole milk. I've been having... I've been having whole milk. That's what I drink now. Whole milk, porridge, uh, eggs. Eggs, which is like fat and protein and all the rest of it. And then just kind of uh, whatever Lynn makes for dinner. And that's it. I'm just not eating chocolate, 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 biscuits, and like fuck it, another bowl of cereal before I go to bed and things like that. And I feel um, good. I'm not barely fucking exercising. I'm, I, I'm on a treadmill and I sometimes go for a walk. But uh, fuck all. Muscle armor. Still, still, that's, it looks wee, but I'll fucking knock you it. The main thing is, mentally, I feel better. That's the main thing. My energy, I feel like I can actually think a bit more, kind of, straight, like before I was. I would just experience a kind of cloudy sort of fucking feeling here and there. I definitely feel more alert. Probably doesn't make much of a difference to other people if they stop chocolate. I was like fucking tanning tons of it and it was affecting me and really, I just want to go like that. I'm going to fucking eat, eat this, eat that. I would like the feeling of just feeling like half asleep, almost. Anyway, let's forget about that. But look, there's no, there's no, there's no question I do like stuff on my face, but it feels sort of better now, no doing it. Dr. Spacewoman and Fizz. Plastic orange thanks to subs and bits. Were you talking about Todd Solon's recently? I've watched his first one, Fear, Anxiety and Depression. I don't think so. Unless it's somebody just whose video just stumbled upon. No, and these sweeties for Christmas, I've said, don't get me in, get me, get me like a jigsaw. Get me a jigsaw too. Uh, I feel like I'm in the mood for a fucking jigsaw. T-shirts um, and a pair of trainers. There's nothing else you can fucking get me. I can get it all myself. Gig, uh, gids, say. Thanks for sub. Lost 16 pounds the last few months. I was just, I was just eating a lot of shite. Eating a lot of shite that made me fucking feel bad. And I don't mean weight. I don't mean... It's not just um, I'll look at myself and go, Oh, Christ. Oh, would you look at that? In the heat. Betting pestle thinks the bits. Do you reckon if you put your treadmill on the slowest setting and put your bell end on it, it could make you spunk? Maybe. Try to picture that i gone away from me. So I turn around and it's sort of like rubbing like away from me. So I sort of like lean down, rest sort of hard on, on it. So I like bend there so it's sort of pressing down on it. And then maybe... Put some, like, say, Vaseline there. It'd fuck the fucking treadmill up, but... I think so. It's possible. Possible. I don't think... It... I think you need a bit of... Grippage. Grippage or something like that. But I doubt it. it, it possible. Luigi's handsome brother thinks it's up. Nice one. Remember, it's not all about losing weight. Losing weight's piss easy. And can often be very bad for you. Malcolm and Blue Monk thinks it's up. Stockholm Syndrome. Good, good, good. Right, here we go. No, we get on to the... I've seen a man fuck a car. You talk about that one, the, the, the ginger one, where he's caught up on exhaust. 
Anyway, let's go on, Matt. Come on. Next question, make a mistake, or if you run out of time, if you don't know an answer, please say don't know. We get on to the next question. Do let you have one to start with. This question is about months of the year and number of days in each. Now, we will give you the month, and we want you to give us the total number of days in each month, yeah. all right? By the way, so I've got an hour and a half to watch this episode. We'll start you with du June, which has 30. So, all right, it's June and... 30. August. 31. May. 31. January. How did you even work it out? 31. September. 31. <laughs> 30 days have September. September. Now you remember. Not to worry, you've got four, right? So that makes you've got four. Yeah, not an edit there. That's all right. Not a bad start at all. Okay. Libby or Fiona. Um, Fiona. Fiona then is going to end on Libby. Okay, we've got Joan and Jim Hullock from Gateshead, Geordie Land. Now, Jim, do you do you anything sort of typical of that area, like coal mining or anything like that? Do I do? No, I'm. A, you yeah. Know, no, I work for a cigar importer. Cigar importer? Yes. You don't smoke yourself, I suppose, or do you? Yes, you do. I'm yes. Like so again. Typical of that area, like coal mining or anything like that? Do I do? No, I'm. A, you know, no, I work for a cigar importer. Cigar. I like that pronunciation of cigar. Import coal mining or anything like that? Do I do? No, I'm. A, you yeah. know, no, I work for a cigar importer. Cigar importer? Yes. Water. You don't smoke yourself, I suppose, or do you? Yes. You do? Yes. Because we've got one of our crew here who smokes nothing but cigarettes, and his fingers are so nicotine stained, his phone directories have yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs> Any male jokes like that, and you'll be looking up the yellow pages for a job? Ted. You, you, tell us a bit about yourself. What do you do? A You're a mother. I'm a mother. How many children do you I'm have? Two. Joanne's 12 and Gillian's eight. Well, give them a quick wave. Your mother's will give them a wave. Why not? <laughs> and you do a part-time job? Yes, I'm a cashier, part-time cashier in a, a bit large regional billing society. You don't deal in granny bonds. At your I'm not going to rate the accents uh, of the UK, but that's one of my favourites. I'm not going to dare, but it's one of my favourites. Your building society? Because no. that's a lovely, <laughs> lovely phrase, granny bonds, as handcuffs for pensioners. <laughs> now, what do you reckon? They, they're bringing in, the, the government are going to bring in this new pound coin. How do you feel about that? No, no, Minecraft has not binned a pound coin, everybody. They're just bringing it in. Look, a pound coin, 1981. Yeah, a pound coin. Heavy. Yeah. <laughs> One good thing, now we'll be able to hear our money going down the drain. <laughs> OK, let's have your questions from Fiona Carson. Oh, there you go, I was right, Fiona then, Libby. There you go, a wee bit of politics there, but money going down the drain, money going down the drain, and aye, ah, what's happening in this country? Your money's just gone down the drain, isn't it? <laughs> what's it fucking mean? This is two years of Thatcher by this point, 1979, this is 1981. Money's gone down the drain. Tax? What does it mean? What does it fucking mean? Listen, I've got an hour and a half to fucking watch this. This this is we're seven minutes into a fifty-one minute video. <laughs> Inflation cost a living. But that's no your money gone down the drain, is it? Ten percent inflation. Would you call that your money gone down the drain? Money going down the drain's got a tax feel to it, getting taxed. Earn your money, then you then you got to fucking pay your money. Just spending, aye. Down the drain seems like you're no getting it, you're no getting the money you got, that kind of thing. Bad jokes as usual, aye. Now where were you this morning? Oh, I was going around the shops buying lots of lovely clothes. Yeah, but you missed rehearsals. No, I didn't, Ted, not one little bit. She wasn't alone there either. Would you like to choose your questions, please? Thank you very much. OK, same procedure. You've just got to... F so I'm thinking to myself, right, are we going to get a joke? Just a, just a joke? Or are we going to get the Fiona character? I was uh, with a man... And I'll just freely admit it. I was with a man. I'll just admit it. That character. Or 
Oh, I like that one, that motor where the seats go back down and makes a bed. You know, like that. That's a straightforward... That's a straightforward... Is that a joke that I'm not getting? Now, where were you this morning? Oh, I was going around the shops buying lots of lovely clothes. Yeah, but you missed rehearsals. No, I didn't, Ted. Not one little bit. She wasn't alone there, either. Would you like to... Oh, she didn't... Ma- ah. She didn't miss it as in she didn't think to herself, oh, I'd love to be in rehearsals. I get it. I, I, I didn't miss it one little bit. Right, I get it. I, she didn't care. Aye, aye. I get it. I get it. Where were you this morning? I get it. Oh, I was going around the shops buying lots of lovely clothes. Yeah, but you missed rehearsals. No, I didn't, Ted. Not one little bit. She wasn't alone there either. Would you like to choose your question? <laughs> Thanks, Ted. I, was, I didn't quite know where to laugh. Thank you. Ted, not one little bit. She wasn't alone there either. Would you like to choose your questions, please? She laughed. She didn't get it. She didn't get it. And then Ted said, she wasn't alone there. And then she pure laughed as if, ah! <laughs> one little bit. Look, she's not. Like, look, what? He's like that. She- he may be starting to get it. She's looking like... Right, then what happened? She's like me. She's like me. I'm like... Right. He wasn't alone there either. Would you like to choose- <laughs> the second Ted said that. Hysterics. Hysterical laughter. He loves it and all, look. Burnside, thanks for the sub. Your questions, please. Thank you very much. OK, same procedure. You've just got a 40 to beat at the moment. Answer alternately, and if you don't know an answer, please say don't know. Question is about units of measurement, old and new. Now, the answers will be each... The answers will each be a number. Now, there are 100 centimetres in a metre, so we'll uh-huh. start you with that. How many centimetres in a metre? 100. 100. How many feet in a yard? Three. Three. How many new pence in a pound? hundred. How many... P- new, new pence. Hear that? New pence in a pound. Pints in a gallon. Eight. How many minutes in an hour? Sixty. How many pounds in a stone? Don't know. How many furlongs in a mile? Don't know. How many ounces in a pound? Sixteen. How many watts in a kilowatt? Don't know. How many objects in a gross? 144. 144. Right, right on the buzzer, you've got 144. What's in a kilowatt? There are a thousand. Furlongs in a mile, there are eight. Pounds in a stone. The final there furlong! Are 14, and that's all yeah. you didn't know there. Who do you have? Five, six, seven? Yes, you've got 70 pounds. Well done. Right, Libby, come on. Okay. Come on, Libby. Well, oh, they asked for my name in the, in the name box. I wrote yes. Filled in a form and in the name box, I wrote yes. Richard and Janet Plain, did I pronounce that right? Plain? Just about. Yeah. Just about. Um, okay, then, what do you do, Richard? What's your job? Well, I'm a traffic inspector for the West Yorkshire Passenger Transport mm-hmm. Executive in Huddersfield. Oh, yeah. 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 Ah. Oh, oh, he's not. He's like. Ah, uh, what? Yeah. Oh, I some claps. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He's like, huh? Ah. Look at that, look at look at the edit, look. He's smiling here. Look, smiling here. Then he is there. Huh? Now, Janet. <laughs> you also have a family too. What do you have? Yes, with two boys. Well, you'd better say a quick hello to them too. Hello. Go on, there you are, why not? And before you had the family, you used to work where? I used to work at the Department of Health and Social Security in Hoboken. The Hosting. DHSS, yes? <laughs> Boo! No! Hey! I use a lot of taxes! No, benefits. Hey! What job did you do there? Um, well, I was what's called a lab or relatives officer. But relative you decide who's no getting them! Boo! I worked in the department that collects maintenance from separated couples, usually oh. the husband who has left the wife. Well, it's always the husband. Did you hear the vehemence <laughs> there? I, usually. Well, DHSS, defecting husband seriously sought. <laughs> Good, okay. Well, fair enough. Nice to have you with us. 
Well, it's always the husband. Did you hear the vehemence there? I'm usually. Uh, DHSS, defecting husband seriously sought. <laughs> Defending husbands seriously. Seriously. Sought? Oh, sought. Right, right. So his husband hear that? You hear that? So she admits? And so her husband's, aye, because the same with the fuck off and don't bother to pay. Aye, but you're admitting it's their money though. Aye, because she's bringing up the, aye, but uh, what was I saying? Okay, well, fair enough. Nice to have you with us. And let's have your questions. Libby Roberts has your questions. And Libby. Sauce, thanks to sub. It's not Christmas until three to one comes out. I hear it fucking is. My hearing's terrible. Well, it's, it's, I don't actually get the context of what you're saying. I don't, it isn't clear to me what you're saying. So I have to try and figure out the fucking context. A bit like if you're seeing something, you're trying to read some word, it's maybe a bit blurry. And you just go like that, that bit goes up there, that bit goes down there. You can sort of make out the length and you can work it by the context pretty quickly what that word is, even if you can't actually fucking read every letter. It's kind of like that with hearing. Right, go Libby, let's have it. garden birds because the ones in my garden will not eat. Well, what are you feeding them? Milk bottle tops, but they won't touch them. Well, I'm not surprised. Well, I can't understand it. They love them when they're on the bottles. That's true. <laughs> Let's have a Thank you. Okay, Richard. Uh, right. Right. Milk bottle tops, so you don't, you don't, right. Aye, birds peck through the bottle tops to get to the cream, yeah. But I thought, I didn't think she was actually feeding the birds milk bottle tops, you know, kind of tin foil sort of top like that. But is she saying it like as if milk bottle tops as in the top of the milk bottle, the top bit where the cream is as opposed to the actual tin foil thing? Because when I hear uh, milk bottle tops, I don't think about the top bit where the cream is. I think about the actual fucking tinfoil and that's the first thing I think about. That's why it does the work for me. Because I don't go, I just think she's saying milk bottle tops. I don't think she, no, she means the foil. No, no, no. The first bit, the first bit. The first bit. The first bit of the joke. No, the punchline. Uh, the first bit. The setup. Oh, look, well, I'm not sure. Well, what are you yeah? Do you know anything about garden birds? Because the ones in my garden will not eat. Well, what are you feeding them? Milk bottle tops, but they won't touch them. Well, I'm not surprised. Well, I... I can't understand it. They love them when they're on the bottles. That's true. Right, right, right. I see. Ah, right, right, right. Right, I get it. Selling me, I got, I got mixed up. Everybody, I absolutely get it now. I absolutely get it now. She sees the birds pecking at the milk bottle tops when they're on the bottle of milk, because they're trying to get to the milk. They're trying to get to the cream, and so she's like, "Well, there you go. You can have them." But it's not the tin foil milk bottle tops. See, I get it. I do get it. So does he get it. I not get it. <laughs> it's funny because she's daft eye, Libby. That, 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 that's the right character. That's it. She's just letting you know. And we come out. Out of character. When I see. they're on the bottles. That's true. <laughs> right. She starts it in character. And out. And out. Okay, Richard and Janet, good luck to you. Here we go with your question. This question is about signs of the Zodiac. We will give you one name and we want you to give us the English name. We start you with Cancer, the Crab. All right, so it's Cancer, the... The Crab. Beg your pardon? ...ish name. We start you with the Zodiac. 
We will give you one name and we want you to give us the English name. We start you with Cancer the Crab. All right, so it's Cancer the... The Crab. The Crab or Crab is the English word for cancer? Aries the Ram, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. Is it? Like, let's, like, Aries. Aries, like the Ram, right? Aries. Does Aries come for Aries is, um, I'm assuming it comes to, like, what, what's that? Is, that? is that the Greek or the Roman god? I don't know. Capricorn the goat. Libra the scales. I don't think that's a Pisces cancer equals is it Taurus I Taurus Tor I I they're not translations I don't know I cancer is Latin for crab is it listen everybody I'm absolutely fucking busting I'll, I'll be back and we're going to talk about this in the meantime I want you to just um, have a think Does that mean I have to have my legs in the air? Does that air mean I have night? to have my legs in the air all night? Well, I don't have a vase, do well, I? I don't have a vase, do I? That's me back. That's me back now. Chris, thanks for sub. The blam isn't dead in 2024. I, I, no, we're just, we're just gonna, I'm gonna keep at it. Let me, the vase message doubled. Oh, did somebody do it after I? I, I saw that somebody did it um, after I did it, or before I did it. Aquarius. What would that be? It's obviously Aquarius, aqua, water carrier thing, but... Don't know. Libra. Do you know the sign of Libra? Scales. Right. Pisces. Fish. Aries. Run. Sagittarius. Don't know. Gemini. Twins. What is Sagittarius? Archer. Horse. Ice. The bull. Capricorn. Goat. And Virgo. Don't know. Ah, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't know that because I've got to say it. Virgo the Virgin and... <laughs> 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 
Aber gut, ich sehe. Ähm, Wort gute. Wort gute. Sagittarius, 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 Big 8 and 17 uncles, thanks to subs. Rate that piss out of 10. 5. Right, so, at the end of the first round, we have couple number one on 40 pounds, but leading at the moment, we have Joan and Jim and Richard and Janet, both on 70 pounds. Disgusting fucking set. Disgusting. I mean, look at that orange sort of gold with the rest okay. of it. Mike and Jane, here we go now. Well, the second round, 40 pounds each correct answer this time for you. Thank you, Mike. Sorry. All right. Uh, 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 exactly, Alison. Correct answer this time for you. Thank you, Mike. Sorry. All right. Now then. Exactly, so Alison. I looked to fucking Ted, waiting for the fucking thank you. You don't have to thank her. You don't have to thank me. But, you know. Correct answer this time for right. you. Right. Look, and she looks to him. Thank you, Mike. Sorry. Look, All and right. she fucking waits as well. well the what the fucking... Dick! He doesn't even know it. Look, Dance look, time for you. look at her. She's looking. Thank you. She's waiting. She's waiting. My Nothing. Nothing. Right. <laughs> and the good luck, same procedure. We let you have one to start with. This question is about idioms and proverbs giving advice. Idioms and proverbs giving advice. We'll give you the part of a phrase. We want you to complete it. Now, we'll start you Who's with... We? You can't teach an old dog new, new tricks. tricks. So you can't teach an old dog... New, new tricks. tricks. Cut your coat according to your cloth. You can't have your cake and eat it. You can't make an omelet. Oh, I hope that brings me. You can't. You can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Don't cross your bridges until you get to them. And don't put all your eggs in one basket. You can't lead a horse to water. Oh. You, can, you, can, you can't lead a horse can, to water. You, you, can, so you, can, you can't, you can't make... No, 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 you can. You can, Ted. Wait a minute. Let me get... Right, here. Right, hold on. And don't put... Don't cross your bridges until... You get to them. That's, that's not a fucking... That's not an expression. Don't cross your bridges until you get to them. It's, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. And don't put all your eggs... In one basket. You can't lead a horse to water. You can't lead a horse to water. He he is saying can't, and he can't can't. He's saying can't. He's saying can't, and he that's no can. You get to them. And don't put all your eggs in one basket. You can't lead a horse to. That's can't, isn't it? Can't, can't. Am I hearing can't? Can't. That's not how he would say can. He's saying can't. What's he saying? Water. You can't lead a horse to water. He's not saying can. He's saying can't. Which is fucking wrong. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink it. You can't. Sorry, you, you can't, can't make it drink. That's it. You ran out of time there. There was one you didn't know. You can't make an omelette without... You fucking asshole. You said sorry, Ted, and then you just sort of... Breaking... That's it. You ran out of time there. There was one you didn't know. You can't, can't lead a horse to... The nudges? Water. You can't lead a horse to water. I see the nudges. Sorry, you, you can't... can't make it drink. I see the nudges. Before they're hatched. Don't cross your bridges until... You get to them. And don't put all your eggs... In one basket. You can't lead a horse to water. How many nudges has he been then? You can't lead a horse to water. You can't. You can't. Sorry, you, you can't, can't make it drink. That's it. You ran out of time there. There was one you did. Several? Let's see. New trays. You can't. An old dog. New trick. Cut your coat according to. Your cloth. You can't have your cake. And eat it. You can't make an omelette. Don't know. You, ca you can't make a silk purse. Out of a sow's ear. Don't count your chicken. He looks like a... Uh... Uh, early 80s footballer who's like 23 is that it? before they hatched don't cross your bridges until you get to them and don't put all your eggs in one basket you can't lead a horse to that was one nudge water 
You can't lead a horse to water. You can't. Sorry, you, you can't, can't leave... make a drink. That's it. You ran out of time there. There was one you didn't know. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. Didn't, run... didn't, run... didn't they fucking run out of time? Because you got it fucking wrong, Ted. You sabotaged it. The money should come out of your fucking pocket. Nevertheless, you have got eight, right? So that's eight. T- yes, you've got three hundred and twenty pounds. Three hundred and twenty. Fucking asshole, ignoring fucking Alice and Temple Savage. Right, Jimmy, then that. Select your questions, would you? That's it. Well done, Joe. Is, is it going to be a good one? Jonathan, <laughs> okay, didn't get any. This question is about well-known Thanks, phrases. Either. We will give you the part of a phrase. That'll unify them. That'll unify them. Because they maybe fell out a wee bit, you know, no talking to each other because she's got the acting roles and all the rest of it. Now they've got something to kind of unite her. Oh, it's a bit rude. If you want to try to sort of like mend things. No, no, because Fiona's not done anything wrong. Alison maybe heard Fiona going, I ignored me, and Alison go like that. I uh, ignored me as well. If any of experienced that, like in school or any, any, any time when you're younger, there's somebody you don't speak to anymore. You just fell out, you just pals, you fell out. And then there's the wee becoming pals again thing. And you know, the, the first wee steps towards... Uh, there's, there's one down there if, if you want it. There's one down there. All oh, right, cheers. You know... Politeness, being polite and all that. Pete, Chuggity, thanks for subs. Have you seen The Hunt with Mads Mikkelsen, my new favourite Christmas movie? You fucking, I've said plenty of times it's one of my favourite fucking films. You make placement really suits you. I like it here. I don't know, I, I like the mic here. It's a bit more convenient. I'm, I'm facing towards it, I like it. We want you to complete it. Now, we'll start you with to have a bee in your bonnet. bonnet. So it's to have a bee in your... Bonnet. Put the cat among the... Pigeons. pigeons. A snake in the... Grass. Grass. A bull in a... China shop. shop. A bear with a... Sore head. A dog in a... Don't know. A cat on a... What the roof? A fly in the... Ointment. Ointment. A pig in a... Pole. China... Don't know. <laughs> a bird in the... Hand. Hand. All right, that's it. That's the tenth question. The couple of you knees stopped yourself on there. A pig in a poke. Yeah, it was. A dog in a manger. Just the oh, yeah. uh, one more. You didn't know. Yes, a cat on a hot tin roof. Nevertheless, what have you got at the end of that? You've got four hundred and ninety pounds. Fucking get him. All right, Richard and Janet. Thanks, Libby. Okay. Yes. Janet. Thanks, Libby. Fucking shocking. There's the that divide and rule. Alison Temple Savage didn't get a thank you off of Ted. Fiona didn't get a thank you off of Ted. Libby gets a fucking thank you. Splitting them all up. Aye, Ted's an arsehole. Aye, Ted's is rude. Didn't say thank you. Well, you know, we should all unite and, you know, just ask for an apology and maybe a pay rise. He said thank you to me. Right. For fuck's sake, Libby. Remember, you're playing a character. You're no daft. Can you see? He did it deliberately. I think he's just been nice. He's fucking doing it to divide us, divide us, divide us. Also, Also going for £70 each correct answer. This question is about well-known phrases. We will give you the part of a phrase and we want you to complete it. Now, we'll start you with empty vessels make most noise. So it's empty vessels... Make most noise. Fine feathers... Don't know. To spoil the ship. Sorry. No. The pen is mightier. And the sword. He who pays the piper. Calls a tune. Calls a tune. One man's meat. That's another man's poison. Marry in haste. No, sorry. Good wine needs. Don't know. All's fair. The end's fair? Sorry. But, ah, right on the tenth one. Oh. In love and war. All's well that ends well. Silly me. Always fell in love. <laughs> Sorry. It's fair in love and war. Good wine needs no bush. Marry in haste, repent at leisure. And fine feathers make fine birds. What do you have at the end of that round? Two hundred and eighty pounds. You have. Yeah. Marry in haste, repent in leisure. Hard as fuck. Maybe set up. 
set up. So at the, at the end of our quiz, that's couple number three here, Richard and Janet on 280 pounds. Yes, we've got our couple number one right. up there, Mike and Jane set on up. 320. Winners of our quiz this week, Joan and Jim, 490 pounds they have. Yeah, they've been set up. That's a scandal. Oh, Rich, there you go. We've got to say goodbye to you at this point, which is always a bit of a shame, but that's not bad, is it? 280 pounds. There's your ceramic <laughs> bin. I'm sure you're pleased with him, aren't you? Who's yes? Thank you very much. Who's going to take the money? Yeah, Janet's <laughs> going to take it. Mm. All in Thanks, fathers. Anyway, Janet, bless you for coming. Nice to see you. Mm. Take care. Rich, anyway, thank you. Thank you, sir. Right. All right, folks. Just a couple of minutes, we'll be away. Back on three, two, one with the bin. See you in a minute. Don't. Go All right, folks. Just a couple of minutes, we'll be away. Back on three. What a shame. Three. Can you even call that a bit? A bit? No, no, no. See, see a side three or a side two. I'm not, I'm not having it. Three. You can see that's kind of like that. I'm even going like that. it's three, three, nothing. It's three, nothing else. Two one with the bin. See you in a minute. Don't go far now. Four better one. I think it means. If you play the 3-2-1 video elimination game, we've got... And Ted's going to go like that. And if you get it up to the top, that's on it. That's the points will really start rolling in then. I know, but how are we going to do that, Ted? They don't know how to aim and break out. If you, if you hit the ball, like if you hit it at the... Even if it's sort of coming from the left, if you get it to bounce off the left, you'll be sort of, whatever you would call it, it bounces back up to the left. They don't know how to aim it. So they don't know how we do Mike that. and Jane here from Stockport, playing Jim and Joan, of course, from Gateshead. Now, before we get on with the video game, you've Aye. got a surprise for me, Jim, haven't you? Is yes, that... it's a programme from 1963, Ted. The programme you compared. <laughs> you would have to give the date away, wouldn't you? <laughs> Frank Highfield, Arthur Worsley. Can, can you see that? Look at that. The stool there as well. Yes. That's where Dave Allen got it from. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks a lot. <laughs> 1963, seven fucking... Uh, what's that? 63, 7, 17, 18 years before, 18 years. Frank Ifield. See everybody, see when you get to my age, you know all sorts of things. Do you know who Frank Ifield is? I do. Do you know how, Yodo Master, that's right, you know how I know? Because I saw the cunt on fucking, uh, some day I'm on um, Stars in the Rise. I was like, who is this? It looked kind of weird. The face looked weird. Kind of shiny like a like a, a dummy. He did, he did um, yodeling. He did a song. I remember you, Frank Ifield. I remember you that. You're the one who made my dreams come true Frank, I feel I remembered you, you Stars and their eyes go keen it If it's no there, fucking yes, wait a minute Now let's meet star guest number two A father of five 92? You Bernard presented Jones. us When the fuck did you I don't remember him You're obviously concerned with school and you, you Why have they got microwaves on the manufacturer of microwave ovens? What? what exactly do you do? Oh, basically, I, uh, I make microwave this? oven. Uh... Aye. Stars in their eyes always did the wee thing. They sing a few words and then they get their applause. at Homelander. Hi. Hi, Maimon. Yes, I do. 
How, how odd. Anyway, he did another song. I don't remember it at the fucking time. It's like 60s, it was 1962. Um, he did this other song that I looked up ages ago. She she taught me how to yodel. He could have went right up like fucking... Um, take on me. And he shot it. However, you know what happens by now with our video game? As you can see at the bottom of the screen, you have got a bat which you can move from left to right by using the control stick here. You know, you just press it down to get the ball out. You've got to hit the ball against mm -hmm. the wall. Mm -hmm. Each time you hit that wall, you'll score points. If you do manage to get through the wall, and we hope you do, that score really, really will rattle along for you. Now, who fucking same part every fucking week. If you do manage to get it, through that wall, and we do hope, we hope you get, you get that. We hope you get, you get, you know, right through it. We're all behind you here. Both of you, by the way, both teams. I'm not just talking to him, them. Both these, both teams. Who's going to play first, Jim? Me. You yeah. are? Okay. Yeah, Good luck to you then, Mike. This is not yeah. Pong. This first, is breakout. Well. Pong's the big tennis looking forget, thing. If you do miss a shot, you've got to pass a control stick to your partner who continues playing. You've got seven tries at this inside a minute, and once the, the red light starts to flash here, the last few seconds you'll be on of that game. So good luck to you. And let's hope you're going to take home a great You've got pass. seven tries in a minute? Whoever gets I don't it. remember. Here we go now. Three, two, one. That's right. bollocks. That's not true. Gosh, I... I said, get it through, get it through. Remember, if you get it through, and we do hope you get it through. This is close, by the way. We could have a scandal. <laughs> Don't laugh, Ted. We're going to put them off. You just put them off. Congrats. 20 fucking 7 to 80, 31 to... Okay, the red light is now flashing. The last few seconds of the game. Fish head. 40 fucking 5? Fuck me. Uh, here, wait a second. Wait a second. Do you get more points per block for, for the higher ones? Let me, let me just see. Okay, the red light is now... Right. Okay, the red light is now... Oh, look! Look on the left, look on the left here. Right. Right, it's at 27, right? Hit the third one up. Four fucking points! The bottom one just got one point. The second one got one point. Okay, the red light is Four now points flashing. up there. The last few seconds of the game... Serious points. Okay, that's it. All it just there. He that he hasn't explained that. It's a pretty tough one. The higher blocks get more points. That's all you had to say. Never an easy game to play. We'll tell you that. But we've got we got Jim and Joan here. They've scored a, they've scored a twenty eight. But Mike and Jane have won forty seven. They've got. Uh, wait a minute. What's that? Never an easy What's the HS? High score. Is that meant to be high score? Like if you're actually playing this in the house. High score zero because they've like, they've reset it, you know, it's for the there it is there. It's a high score up there as well. Any yeah. question mark? It's a pretty tough one. Never an easy game to play, we'll tell you that. But we've got we got Jim and Joan here. They've scored uh, they've scored a twenty eight, but Mike and Jane have uh, Fiona, what are you doing here? Yeah. Um where's Karen? for quite a time. You did pretty well. This is the job. We've got to say goodbye to Joan and Jim and I promise it's nothing against you. Oh, that's right. Karen's locked up. That's right. <coughs> so Karen couldn't make it and they're making a wee joke about it. 
Peyton Sir Chuggity, Biggie. Thanks for subs, thanks again. Oh, thanks again. You show me that old programme. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't do bad at all there, did you? What's the money they won in the quiz, Fiona? 490 pounds. 490 pounds is not bad. There it is. Look at that. There you are. There, of course, is the ceramic bin. There we are. The leather photo frame is there with a picture and autographs of all the people up here at Yorkshire. And there's your video game to take home. And let's hope you play it at home and have a lot of fun with it. Okay? okay. Take care, Joan. Thank you for coming. Thank you, it's up to Fiona. If she gets offered. Nice if she gets off, she's going to take the offer. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, Jay. Um... But I'm not seeing Alison Temple Savage. I'll be coming. That means, of course, you're going through with a chance, hopefully, of taking home something nice tonight. We know, we'll we know see. You've got, you've got five items to look at. We'll see. Five great prizes, four terrific ones, and booby. Win that bin, you know, that's all you <laughs> yeah. get. Brand new dust bin. Told you earlier on, we don't OK? Need one. You don't need <laughs> no. one. Nobody needs one. <laughs> they let it pile up. Nobody needs one. Yeah. You know what happens at the end of each of our items? We'll be at the table. One of the characters will come, leave an object, read you a rhyme, which will be a clue. When you've got three on the table and ask you to reject one, when mm. you've rejected four, the one that remains will tell you whether or not you're going to take a dustbin home with you. However, I told you at the top of the show the theme mm. this week is cabaret. And with a theme like cabaret, variety is our prime name, and we've got. Bring the fucking words closer to the fucking camera. They're getting mere and mere away from the camera. We've got a great mixture for you. To kick off, we're going to do just that. Look. We've got a top dancing team. Ladies and gentlemen, D.D. D. Wilds, Pan's People. Fuck off you. Hate you. Welcome and bienvenue, welcome. Shite art phone. Bad art phone. Move on, shite. Cabaret. Uh, they're pans people. I don't recognise them, but pans people. Like on top of the pops, I don't know if you know top of the pops about that time and earlier. See if they had some sort of music, but the band couldn't be there and they didn't have a music video. They would just dance on the stage, doing a kind of dance routine. Marilyn, thank you very much for the sub. How can I not see a sub message? I can see the chat. Dennis Norton coming in saying something. If you're one of those people, that's a cracking impression of the 80s, everybody. Dennis Norton, that need to be in your arsenal a long way. Reagan, Thatcher, Prince Charles. If you're one of those people, you did that. What you do, if, if you're not very good at it, look like you're holding a clipboard. And Dave, what you're meant to do if you're impressionist and you're not very good, you say who it is. Like this. People say to me, Dennis, that programme be all right in the night that you present. Each and every one is beautiful. Bad art form. Oh, who's this? Who's that? Who's this lot? Shocking art form. I uh, know them, by the way. Him. Fuck me, man. It's even got a, one of these slow bits. Right, hold on. That ends at approximately 22 minutes. Started. Nineteen and a half minutes. That was two and a half minutes long, pretty much. I kind of stone him. I don't know why. 
<laughs> I'm glad you like that. Chris, that was really terrific. You, spri you surprised all of us there with your German. Oh, you? it's done me a power of good, Ted. Yeah? Yes. I said to one of those German girls, after the show, how about coming back to my place for a bit of food and a bit of drink? She said, bit of show. And I said, yes, if you like, after a bit of food, a bit of drink. <laughs> Oh, that's the kind of luck he had. <laughs> there we go, that's classic Ted. Did you hear what he said? We've not heard that for a while. Remember? Libby Arson Temple Savage or Fiona would say something like, uh, oh, my room, the room, and he would say, oh, it's that kind of room. It always comes in with a wee addition. On top of the punchline. Yes, if you like, after a bit of food, a bit of drink. <laughs> That's the kind of luck he has. <laughs> That's the kind of luck he has. All right, he didn't say it's that kind of luck. Look at Ted and his element now, look. And his absolute element. Got this suit on, short tie. Just think he got up that morning wearing his pyjamas or whatever it is he wears. Just another working day. Bebo thinks the sub. Hey, while you're applauding, Chris, how about thanking, please, D.D. Wilde's pans people, yes. Who the fuck's D.D. Wilde? Is D.D. Wilde here? Oh. OK, Chris, now what are you going to leave as the clue? I'm going to leave for you a shoe. Shoe? I know D.D. Well, it's D.D. Uh, D.D. What was the name of her that was in um, uh, Wham? Replaced by Pepsi. Then she was in, I don't know, she was going out with uh, Paul Weller when she was in the jam. No, 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 Style Council. Is it CC? Is it DD? CC? CC? It's no CC Peniston. DC Lee, that's it. DC Lee. I'm not setting a CC catch. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get on a... Um... I need to find mere... Mere old music. Mere 80s stuff. Because this... See this? Only discovered this about... 10 years or so. My left ear of this. Brilliant stuff. Let me let me go to, let me go to instrumental bit. No, that's shite. No! That's not the... That didn't happen. Ignore. I know Alf. Alf came... What was Alf? Ladies. You are? Uh -huh. Okay. All right. And what about the rhyme? Now, the rhyme... <clears throat> Listen, Mike. <coughs> Listen carefully to this. <laughs> the MC gave you a welcome when in cabaret you were taken. If you take this in too quickly, you may be both stirred and shaken. What do you say to that, Jane? Yes, Right. Take this in too quickly. And be stubbed and shaken. Does that sound like a bin? It's like a cocktail. <laughs> Is it? Well, there you go. Well, it's nice nice that you think straight away like that. Thank once again, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Emmett. Thank Thanks, you Chris. very much, Thank you. What's this? What is this? What is that? Just an absolute shite art form. What is it? What's it meant to be? Was it meant to be a vampire? So, I think, you know, even with the booby prize, you might get just a little more than a cocktail, but I'm glad that you're thinking about something, right? Let's get on with our theme of cabaret. Our next artist, you know, has reigned supreme for many a year. First as a half of a great musical act, and now as a solo performer. Eighty-one. 
Glad that you're thinking about something, right? Let's get on with our theme of cabaret. Our next artist, you know, has reigned supreme for many a year. First as a half of a great musical act, and now as a solo performer. I've got a feeling I might know, know them. Who the fuck that? You think it reigns supreme with threes? No, it's not going to be fucking supremes. I keep forgetting the one that Diana Ross was in. Anyway, that's a trio. Uh, three, three degrees, the Supremes. Supremes was that the kind of like lesser one. Is that the one she was on like fucking I'm a Celebrity or something? Uh, was it Big Brother? Do you know what I think it is? Absolute fucking nebdy. Ladies and gentlemen, here with the stirring version of Exodus. Please greet Walter Landau. I'm never wasting my time. Try to guess. Next. Get on it. On it. On it. Time to go to the kitchen. Time to go to the kettle. Isn't it? Time to get the kettle on. It's like Neil Sedaka and also the grander out of the Adams family. Quite him. No, he's no his eyes. Marvellous. Great to see you again, Waterlander. And I, I did say in the introduction, you know, a long, long. Hold on. There. You can imagine, look at look at the eyes. You can imagine doing the wee wise cracks. <laughs> Guy Twitchy, good point. Jointon, thanks for subs. There you are. Walter. On the respect. Marvellous. Great to see you again, Waterlander. And I, I did say in the introduction, you know, a long, long time, well, not a long time ago, really. The great musical act, Rowitz and Landau. Do you remember them, ladies and gentlemen? This is Walter Landau. No, even, no, even then, fucking no, back then. What chance did I have trying to fucking know who the cunt was? No, even these fucking folk in 81, including old cunts. Time ago, really. The great musical act, Rowitz and Landau. Do you remember them, ladies and gentlemen? This is Walter Landau. Yeah. They don't know. Did you know everybody? That here in 1981, some of these people have fucking lived through two world wars. Did you know, here in the fucking audience, there'll be some people born in the 1800s? Born in the 19th century. I don't like other, I don't like saying that 19th century. It sounds like I say 1900s. Doesn't he really get across just how long ago it was? Well, I would have bought a piano and it's a bit too heavy. It's too heavy to bring so down here. Instead of the piano, I got a candle. A candle is the clue. Okay. And what about the rhyme? The rhyme. Exodus may mean a going out, though it's empty if that's true. You could, of course, all be in. Would this may this be metal? Oh, fuck off. If that's no dusty bin. Going out, then it'd be empty, you know, the bin, and made of metal. All right, it's the bin. Of course it's not a fuck. You think it would make it that fucking easy? All right, change my mind. It is the bin. <sighs> going out, metal, eh, uh, going out, you know... In which case it's empty. What? Ah, it's empty before you step into the motor. The motor. The motor's empty before you go into it. Says Mike. Well, they're looking at me as though I'm going to tell them. <laughs> yeah, you're not. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm not, Mike. You're going to work. No, I'm no. You're going to thank Walter Land. No, I'm no. Thank you, Walter. Thanks so much. Cheers, Walter. Uh, dear uh, Walter, can I just apologise for saying everybody? Remember him? Remember? Remember? I do apologise. Why are you apologising? Well, because of the reaction. What was the reaction? I, I thought. But people, people don't remember me. Or oh, did you not hear? We heard what? Oh, nothing. Aye. 
No, 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 sorry. Glad you liked it. It's Walter Matow there, everybody. Did I say Walter Matow? Who's that actor? Who's that actor he was in? Here, do you know a film that I like? I think somebody said on here, was it yesterday, the day before, I was talking about films. Hardly any fucking films. I mentioned some films. And he said, you only like these films. You only like horror films or something. I can't remember what the fuck it was. Um, Martin Landau, Walter Matow, right, Walter. What was he in? What was he in again? Oh, I know him. Oh, I liked him in, what do you call it? Um... I liked that film, um, The Taking of Pelham, one, two, three, or whatever. No, no, him. Who's the con? Is his, is his name no Matto? Who's the one at the. Uh, what's the film? I think it won an Oscar. Ordinary People, is it? 1980. Judd Hirsch. I just realised I've never known his fucking name. I've never him have, have a. Uh, it was in taxi. Never. Aye, that's right. Um, I liked that. Uh, where's a. Uh, where's. Where's a. Um, wait a minute. Where's Mary? Tyler Moore. Why is she not in the picture? Why has got all these people except Mary Tyler Moore? Ordinary people. Anybody seen that? Heard of that? Quite a straightforward sort of film. Yeah, I really liked it. I think it won an Oscar. Did it? Uh, winning for Best Picture, Best Director. Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Support Actor. It's such a straightforward, just, um, directed by Robert Redford. Really? Look at that. It's quite, quite straightforward and, you know, talking and relationships and family stuff and kind of therapy sort of thing. Ordinary people. I wonder how a film like that would do these days. I didn't expect much. I don't know who recommended it to me. But, um, I don't know, I watched it. I was like, I really, I really fucking liked that. Slice of shite. Good luck. Plastic Orange thinks they're bits. As per earlier, Todd Solon's directed Happiness and Storytelling, etc. I thought you might like that stuff. Um, I don't know what that is. Plastic Orange. Uh, watch first for... Directed Happiness and Storytelling, etc. I don't know what that is. I thought you might like that stuff. What is it? Is it a film? Is it a, a YouTube series of films? Right. Oh, no, I've not, I've not, I don't know. I'm sorry for not giving me a reaction to the, the, the bits, but I just don't know. A grim movie. Oh, right. Oh, it's one of the A ones where it's got happiness in it and it's actually fucking grim. I'll keep that in my mind. Dads, thanks to the, the sub. Thank you. It doesn't feel good to get a, I don't know what that is. I know. Aye. To get I don't know what that is, deed. Is it? Now, in our cabaret spotlight right now, we've got a throat specialist. No, he's nothing to do with medicine, but he does provide laughter, a laughter... Right, just calm it. Calm it with them boats. Sonic, ...with his clever ventriloquial talents. Ladies and gentlemen, a great mate, John Boucher. I don't know who these cunts are. Oh, good. Ah, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, before I start my act this evening, I just wondered if anybody... You've got one minute! Recognize this little girl because I found her wandering around uh, backstage and I think she's lost. No, I'm not lost. You're not? No, my mummy's lost. Oh, your mummy's lost. 
Oh, I see. Well, have you been down the police station? Yes. And what did they say there? They said no one had been handed in. <laughs> did you give them a, a description of your mummy? Yes. And what did they do then? They just laughed. Oh. <laughs> Can I stay with you? Oh, no, I can't look after you. I'll go on. No. Oh. Please. Well, no, I can't look after a little girl like you. Anyway, perhaps your mummy is in the audience here. Perhaps we'll have a look around. Down for her, shall we? What's she like? Gin and tonic. <laughs> Not what? The boys are... The boys are... Uh, 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 drunk. That's why she's not... Aye, this is dark. Aye, this is a... Uh, I've watched too many... Too many uh, films and seen too many documentaries. My mind is now fucking polluted. That right away, I'm just like... This doesn't feel right. Right for the start. So, it's a wee lassie who's lost. So I come out and I've got this wee lassie who's lost... She's lost her ma and I've, and I've got her. Right. 1981. Good. Solid. Yeah, so what is she yeah, like? Not yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. Fuck yeah. you. Hit me with your rhythm stick. <laughs> Hit me with your rhythm stick. Just a moment, sir. Who are you, sir? Who? Who? Oh, waiter, waiter. That's my daddy. Who? <laughs> Just a minute. I've been there. I'm not the father of twins. <laughs> You're seeing double. Oh, she's only one. I'm four. You want to be five? Keep your mouth shut. He's silly. <laughs> he thinks I'm real, you know. I know what you are. You're a ventriloquist. He's a ventriloquist. Listen, don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> I tell you what you can't do. Brittle stuff. Brutal. Please skip this. No, this is too bad. This is too bad to skip. Friend, I bet you can't recite Peter Piper picked a pepper plump and plumpers. Or pick the pepper plump and plumpers if you're left-handed. While I drink a glass of water. That's not difficult. Very difficult for me. I've never drank a glass of water. Well, let's Just, try it. Well, I've got the biggest laugh. Can I have this uh, glass here, young man? My God. <laughs> Are you working with him? <laughs> here we are now. Ready when you ask one. Are you working? Can I have this uh, glass here, young man? Oh, what the hemp right My God. Are you working with him? <laughs> here we are now. Ready when him. you ask one. Right, here we go. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pepper. A peck of pickle pepper. Peter Piper picked. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of Wait a minute. Was that Fiona? Is that... Is that Fiona again? Was that Fiona? I don't know. Is it? I don't think it is. I don't think it is, actually. I don't think it is. John, love it. As always, that was that was great, really great. Oh, thanks, Ted. You know, I watch the show every week. Yeah. So do I, and I think you're gorgeous and talented and tanned and lovely. Oh well. <laughs> well, that's very nice of you to say so. No, he says so. I <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. All right then, John. What are you going to leave then as the clue? Well, Ted, I brought this needle as the. Uh... It's, um, it's kind of like I don't know if any of us have ever taken uh, drugs. Particularly any kind of drug that makes you feel good. And then as it starts to wear off, you don't feel too good. Also known as a come down. If we're talking about like eckies. Are we feeling that the fun's beginning to end? It's no, it's no, you're not feeling bad. 
you're not feeling like no fucking hell no hangover but just it's coming that's it it's coming to an end slightly cold feeling the downer my sunrise is that it are we not going anywhere else is that it has anybody got any mail is that it the end that's what this is like. That's the clue. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, fine. And do you have a rhyme as well? Yes, right. Now, this is the rhyme. I never said a gotla gear, so am I for or again? You could throw it out of the corner of the room if this you happen to win. A gotla gear, right? A bottle of beer. A bottle of gear. It's kind of ventriloquist what they end up sounding like when they try to do a bottle of beer. Again. Gin. He's saying gin. But it's just after saying gottle a gear instead of bottle of beer. Get instead of be. Gin. Instead of bin. Could throw a bottle of gear. So am I for or again? You could... A four or a bin? Throw it out of the corner of the room if this you happen to win. Mm. What do you say, Jane, this time? Reject, reject, oh, reject. Throw it out of the corner of the room. Well, we've got to start thinking about it now. We have three on the table, which you're going to thank, aren't you? John Boucher. Cheers, Hello. John. Thank Good you. to see you again. Good mate. It's fucking obvious. Too obvious. What do you say, Jay? Could, could, could be a bin. Could be a bin. Could be a bin. Could, could be a bin. Then, you you <laughs> then you reckon you've got one here already? Well, I tell you what, you've just heard that, of course, from John. I can read the yeah. candle brought in just now by mm -hmm. Walter Landau. Of course, Chris Emmett brought in the shoe. Number one item. Which one would you like to hear? A candle. Candle? Mm -hmm. Walter said, Exodus may mean a going out, though it's empty if that's true. Yes. You could, of course, all be in. Would this be metal too? You could, of course, all be in. B N Ben. I've I've said this. Here's my theory, and I've said it before. I think I don't really think this, but I do wonder if any of these could, if the producers decide, any of these could be the bin or the motor or fucking anything. Did it just go like that? Ted, this is the way it's gone. We're no gain away the motor tonight. We lost a fucking fortune that last episode. So the night they're gonna get this. But how could how can we make sure that they're gonna pick that? It doesn't matter, Ted. Because see this, when we talk about oh it's made of metal and it's empty, we could say it's the motor. Here's how. Read that out. That makes it look like that's the motor. If they reject it, read the motor thing out. If they want to keep it, if that's what they end up with, you know, that's the bin one, right? It wouldn't be empty if it was going out, because the bin's always full when it's going out. Aye, when you've, when you've fucking stuck it out. Remember, mate, this is a lot of shit. Butch Daddy takes the bits. To the best over-analyzer of human behaviour in the business. Thank you very much. And Twitch has added 48 bits. I think. We added 32 bits to Butch Daddy's cheer. Bonus bits unlocked. We added 16 more bits. Dan Guy thinks the sub. So it wouldn't be empty, would it? No. Well, don't ask me, Mike. Unless it's, you better unless ask it's Jane. all from here. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we ought to reject that one. Yeah. Yes, yes. I think we'll mm. reject it. You will. You sure, yeah. you sure about that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I fair enough. You're going to sure. reject the candle yeah. brought in by Walter Landau. Let's see exactly what you Cheers reject. Cheers, be. Exodus may mean a going out, though it's empty if that's true. You could, of course, all be in. Would this be metal too? Well, Exodus may mean a going out. Well, a going out, are we going to send you out, say, for perhaps a meal or a holiday? Well, we said it's empty if that's true, so that doesn't really fit. You could, of course, all be in. Well, as you suggested, could be in mean bin... That's certainly empty. Would this be metal too? Because the bin is metal and so are a lot of other things. In fact, the last line was not a question, but a statement. Would this be metal? 
Level two. See the last thing? Here's the twist at the end of the film. It turns out it was never a question. It was a statement. You're no meant to let her out. The well. Back the, the phone's coming from inside the house. This be metal too. Because the bin is metal and so are a lot of other things. In fact, the last line was not a question, but a statement. <gasps> would this be metal too? And it is wood. It's a beautiful piece of wood. This oval dining table, four chairs, two carvers, complete with the canteen of cutlery and candelabra. Take a look at this. Sorry. Bobby, that's the type of savage. No Fiona. Um, did she come here? <laughs> did she come here? <laughs> what the fuck has this got to do with that clue? Let's hear this fucking clue again. It's true. You Let's see exactly what you've rejected. Exodus may mean a going out, though it's empty. If that's true, you could. Empty. Seats are empty. Empty seat. Em empty seat. Exodus. You know, if you've gone out, empty, if that's true. The seats are empty. If you've gone out. Seats. Would, of course, all be in. Would this be metal too? Well, Exodus, though it's empty, if that's true, you could, of course, all be in. Would this be metal too? Well, of course, if all be in, like if he's in, would this be metal too? That's not a question. That's a statement. Would this be metal too? So would 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 this be? Would the, oh they're going out though it's empty if that's true you could of course all be in. Oh. Would this be metal too? Would this be metal too? Ah right, I, th I got mixed up. I get it now. It makes perfect sense now. Well, Exodus may mean a going out. Well, a going out. Are we going to send you out safe? This, this isn't there just it's not just wood. It's metal as well. Because the candelabras. Oh yeah. There you go. Stand over there, Mike and Jane. Would you like to stand Sorry. just there? Come over here. Not a bad present, huh? Just not sit. a bad prize. What do you sit think? Here? You come right. What did you think me? it was? Huh? Did you think it was the bin? I thought it might be the bin. Thought it might have been the bin. What's in there, Libby? Let's have a look at the, the cutlery. There we not are. The How bin, about that? It? That can't be bad. <laughs> it's a marvelous <laughs> two carvers as well, a beautiful suite of furniture, <laughs> and you've rejected it. We've got another four to go, and remember, one of those is the bin. We're going away just for a couple of minutes, folks. Back after the break, three, two, one. Keep thinking now. Is Shall the bin. Me. We're going away just for a couple of minutes, folks. Back after the break. Solid four. Solid, solid four. The pinky's up and everything. Pinky's right up. That's a solid four. Nothing. Nothing, not a thing. Point doesn't count. Four. The program is called four. Keep the... Foot dad and Dan guy thinks the subs. Disaster. He never, ever, ever, ever. No, really. Never. He may, he may have done it once. He may have done three to one once. I think I, when I was watching the stream, he did it once, maybe. Ligariff thinks the sub. Maybe. Point does not count. Oh, how does that count? Is that a one? How many do you want? This many. How many do you want? That's how, that's how you tell somebody you want just one. Aye. That. You go like that. Thank you. Point does not count, even if it starts like that. Even if it start, kind of starts like that. That's one. Three ladies. Don't try and fucking make me out to be unreasonable. I've given him every fucking chance. I've let him away. I've called it three when it really should have been called four. No more. See what happens. Give an inch to take a fucking mile. Because I've said, all right, we'll, 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 we'll say that's... We'll say that's three, this fucking pinky lap. We'll say that... Once I let that go, then people are going like that in the chat. I think I, that, that, that should count as a one, him, him doing that. That's it. You know what? What? Zero tolerance for no one.
We've went too far. Time to roll it back. Part three, ladies and gentlemen, we're Mike and Jane from Stockport, of course, have just rejected the Back to basics. Suite. But we're going to push on with our theme of cabaret. Next to Grace, our cabaret floor is a charming lady from the United States of America. You know, since her arrival here, she's captivated all of us with her delightful singing. Please welcome... I bet you any money, I don't know who the fuck this is, neither do you, neither does the audience. Diane Solomon. Who? Hey. Town. Her daddy ran away before she ever knew the dime. Mom, we used to drink most of the time. Stony Creek woman. She's just a person. She's just somebody who's, who's uh, you know, good at singing. Stony Creek woman learned as a child. It pays to be nice. You gotta make a man smile. No offense. No offense. American singer and songwriter and nutritionist. Oh wait, who was part of the group who represented Luxembourg in a Eurovision Song Contest in 1985. But who is she? Uh, the main thing is, uh, is that. What's this? She was in Malcolm and Wise? You what? She, following a successful screen test, she was awarded her own television product, The Diane Solomon Show on BBC One. The first was an hour-long special, songs and interviews, 1974. Guests like Spike Milligan and Jesus Christ, who the fuck is she? She's like, nay cunt, but also some cunt. A sort of nebdy, but then also a somebody. We've got a lifetime to share. No. Uh, okay, that's yours. I've never been to Greece. Really? No. But that, oh. that you like To be her one and only joy, she said, Honey, I gotta stay free. A lady, there's no lot of uh, listen, she's a better singer than me, but it's quite, um, all plain. He was a boy, she made him cry like a baby. He wanted to be her one, wanted to be. You know, she, he wanted to be. It's quite uh, no lot of musical, but you know, it's. She made him cry like a baby. He wanted to be her one and only joy. She said, "Honey, I say, um, not even stage it, sir. What's in good honour and everything? Just me." There's no something, you know. Still got that je ne sais quoi. X Factor, basically. But she's got a BBC One program. I was on BBC Scotland. Fella, please. Something we must remember is when Dusty Bin is revealed, we need to remember, was Dusty Bin on the fucking table available to be rejected as one of the first three? I want to know if they force the contestants to chuck away a prize rather than have the, the ability to get rid of one of them. Um. Everybody, what time's up? It says I've got 10 minutes left. No, I've no. This is getting watched. Lovely. Smash it. Lovely to have you with us. So what are you yeah. going to leave it? Came, came across his cabaret. It says 808 bait. 
Let's let's watch it. Well done. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Guys are a talented bunch of Get them fucking told okay.com. Get in. The, uh, I'm the leaving an ostrich feather, my dears. Uh huh, an ostrich feather? <coughs> Lovely. And what about the row? You may be at a loss if this is what you win. You can bet you'll see a star, but it won't be Rin Tin Tin. Hey, Mike. Oh, oh really? Bit of spin. Bit of spin. Oh, well. Tin. Yes. There you go. You'll be at a loss. Oh, they're, they're telling me now, they're chastising yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to thank Diane Solomon, though, aren't you? Yeah. Thanks very much, Thank Diane. You. Take care. Yeah. They must, they must bring on Dusty Bin, the Dusty Bin clue, sometimes as one of the first three, sometimes as later, because if he was always, if Dusty Bin was always one of the first three clues, you, you, so you are able to reject right away, if you sort of get it right, then all you would do is see what, when she brought out that one, which is like the fourth clue or something, you would just go like, stick with that no matter what, stick with that. Because we know that isn't Dusty, because that came after the first three. <laughs> yeah, like Maybe. And, uh, Diane has just brought that in. You've told me what you think it might be, but you know what we get up to on this show. We also have the slipper brought in by Chris Emmett. I can read you that. Or the needle brought in by John Boucher. I think we'll hear the shoe. You'd like yeah. to hear the yeah. shoe? Okay. All right. The shoe brought in by Chris and said, needle? the MC gave you a welcome mm -hmm. when in cabaret you were taken. If you take this in too quickly, you may be both stirred and shaken. Because you know if you take in your bin too early, so let's say you've put your bin out to be emptied into the bin lorry and you take it in too quickly, like it's not been emptied yet. Like imagine you put it out, let's say on a Tuesday night because they're going to pick up on the Wednesday morning and then you actually go out on the Wednesday morning dead early and you bring the bin back in to wherever you've got it before the bin lorries actually came. You'll look in and you go, oh fuck, it's not been emptied yet. And you'll be stirred and shaken, you'll, you'll, you'll be frustrated and scared. That you're like, what was I thinking? I can't trust myself anymore, I, I can't trust mine. Oh, what's going, what, why am I thinking all these mad thoughts? You know, leave it to the fucking, you know, later on in the day. Leave it to the next fucking day. Just leave it sitting out there. Was a neighbour going to day come up and complain? Every cunt on this fucking street has left their bin out an extra day or two. Forgot they've not got fucking room here. Let them fucking dare. Am I right? Yes, I think we'll reject yeah, the ostrich the feather. The feather? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. Diane said you may be at a loss... If this is what you win, you can bet you'll see a star, but it won't be rent in tin. Hope so, loss, loss, right? So you lose things when you put them in a the bin, don't you? Right, star. Have you ever looked at a bin that's shiny during the daylight? Right, what makes it shiny? Because it's metal. Aye, but what's it reflecting? What's making it shiny? The light that, right? Where's the light coming from? The sun, which is our planet. Oh, fuck. It's a. It's not a planet. It's a. It's, it's a star. The sun's a star. No, it's no. The sun's a uh, star's the uh, the wee dots. We. It's a, that's because they are, they ones are far away. The sun is a star. They are stars. Some of them, you know, the stars are galaxies, but the main thing is it's a, it's a fucking star. If you call that a star, the solar, the, 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 right. It's dusty bin. You've rejected it. It's good news. You can smile. Sean, thanks for the sub. Smile! You've rejected the bin. Okay, you may be at a loss if this is what you win. Well, here's this the bin, which is what you think. Well, could he be the star that you'll bet you'll see? Well, we said it won't be Rin Tin Tin, but we didn't say it wouldn't be Tin, right? At the we didn't say it wouldn't be Tin, but we didn't say it wouldn't be Tin, Rin Tin Tin, do you remember? But we didn't say it wouldn't it not be. Tick this if you would like to not be opted out of not getting our newsletter. And 
communications from our partners. At the beginning, we said you may be at a loss. And the loss we thought you may be at is, would you believe, Los Angeles. We were going to fly you for two weeks to California. You fucking what? Sorry. What you, what you win. The feather. The feather. Yeah. Sorry. Yes? What? Yeah. Diane said you may be at a loss. If this is what you win, you can bet you'll see a star, but it won't be in tin, tin. Right. You may be at a loss if this is what you win. You may see a star. Right, I get that. At a loss, oh, at a loss. Los Angeles, they should have worked out. Oh. They should have went out. Loss. It could be L Los Angeles. It could be Los Angeles. They should have worked out it. Okay, you may be at a loss if this is what you win. Well, here's this the bin, which is what you think. Well, could he be the star that you'll bet you'll see? Well, we said it won't be Rin Tin Tin. So it's not going to, so it's not going to be Rin Tin Tin, so it's not going to be Tin. But we didn't say it wouldn't be Tin. Right at the beginning, we said you may be at a loss. But we didn't say it wouldn't be Tin. We didn't say that. So it may be Tin. It might be tin. What? So the fucking Los Angeles, it's going to be a, a holiday at Los Angeles because it might be tin. It might be tin. We didn't say it was the tin. And the loss we thought you may be at is, would you believe, Los Angeles. We were going to fly you. Tin Tinseltown. He didn't say fucking Tinseltown though. So we tin, right at the beginning we said, said it won't be rin tin tin. But we didn't say it wouldn't be tin. Right at the beginning we said you may be at a loss. What, the, what, what, what? But we didn't say it wouldn't be tin. It is tin. But he's not saying tin. Tinsel town, that's another term for, for LA, you know. How did you know what it is? obvious right in front of you. And Why did you throw that away? Why did you throw that away? Almost yet he thinks the sub He's threw away. Did we make it too obvious? Did you think, ah, can he be? We're going to make it that easy. Is that it? No, you just genuinely didn't get that. Didn't even click. Perhaps he thinks the sub. We thought you may be at is, would you believe, Los Angeles. We were going to fly you for two weeks to California. San Francisco. That is near. Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge. And? You'd have had four days in San Francisco. Oh, right, right. So it is near. So it's, it's a bit it is early. On to Las Vegas for another four days. Woo! There's the strip in Vegas, of course. On to Las Vegas for another four days. There's the strip. What a fucking power, Bud God. Strip in Vegas. I see that again. On to Las Vegas. I've been there, by the way. I've been there. I've been there. Crazy town. Crazy. Did I tell you about, uh, we were walking, me and Lynn were walking up there at night. It was all busy and everything. And it was a, there was a motor, kind of parked, I think, or a motor ready to move. And I, we're walking and I heard, Hey! Hey! I turned around and a guy in a motor like in the, the back seat I went like to me. And I smiled. I, I thought it was funny and they like kind of smiled back. It wasn't it. See if it was doing a wee fucking lane or something like that. Um, I would be... <laughs> and there's no reason. It's not like, oh, I was doing stuff and this, this cunt thought he'd sort of interrupt me just to get me to shut up. Just... Got my attention, one of many people, and it went like that. There's some sights in fucking LA. You know, um, Welcome to the Jungle by um, um, Guns N' Roses. I think he, what did he, he said he heard that in New York or something. Somebody say that. It felt like that. It just, I had a wee feeling that. 
You know how you can really fucking fall through the cracks in America? It kind of felt like that. Lots of, felt like lots of money and walked past the places as paparazzi outside and Lynn helped him say something to the, um, I don't know, it was like Paris Hilton or somebody, like the photographer's eye, like, she's in there, thing he's in there, can't remember, it was like Christina Aguilera or Paris Hilton. And you're like, they, she, this is, they're not making that up. This is where they are. And as mad, just, um, just, I just have a feeling it felt dangerous during the daytime as well. A sense of fucking danger that, that, that I liked. I remember this, I, I, there's, there's just a few memories that I've got. That, that thing, that thing, that thing when that happened, that guy, this motor went by, not one of the kind of pure low ones. And it, it was one, it was kind of like stopped at traffic lights or something like that. And I remember, I think these guys had like bandanas or something. They looked kind of like almost like in a fucking band or something. But it looked, like, well, the guy in the passenger seat looked pure, kind of, like shiny, like sweating or something. And the motor was like pure dung 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 but got a feeling. Cooper Strawman, Ruthbate, Bama, Drapsy, thanks for subs. I got a feeling that things are getting said in the sub messages, and I'm no. There you go, look, Ruthbate, 32 months, you're welcome. I'm not fucking seeing that. Give a second. I'm not seeing that. Um, I'm seeing some sub messages and some I'm no. So I do apologise to anybody if you've subbed and I've said your name, but you said something dead funny. And I'm just like, aye, thanks for the sub. Thanks. Wait a minute. I have for an hour ago there's sub messages I'm seeing. I'm seeing the names, but there's things that people are saying, and I'm not uh, in sub message. For another four days, there's the strip in Vape. Michael, Michael Welsh, and then the Rocko Welsh. Du -du 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 -du. Everybody, we are watching this three to one episode on this stream. I don't care what time it is. Fall guy intro. Terrible. Well, I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with fire up. I've never been with anything less than a man. So fine, I've been on fire with Sally Field, gone fast with a girl named Bo. But some um, they just don't end up as mine. It's a death defying life I lead. Is this before they've got a few series? It is. It is. This is a story of what you are the girl talking so reasonable job will get out of Come on. See camera ready. Come on. Oh, aye, aye. Once they racked up a few series, we could show bits like that. It's a bit punchy, somebody and goes out with his horn. I watched this. I watched like a bit here and a bit there. But I don't think I ever watched a full episode and went, oh, aye, and there's the beginning, there's the middle, and there's the end. He's a stuntman who gets into scrapes. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like fucking A-team. Take my chances. I've 
The reason why I got into this is because Raquel was on a scene. Remember that bit? Punch the guy in and do that thing you're on. There it is. in school but I told ladies plenty it's true I hire my body out for pay here it comes hey, hey, I've gotten burned over Cheryl Teague's blown up for Rocky Welch but when I wind up in there you go and the hay it's only hay a hay hay hey it's only hay hey, hey, and then your lands on hay in Vegas of course Coming up any minute, you're going to see, yes, there's Don't Walk. There's the riverboat, of course. That's downtown. The Big Wheel, the Silver Slipper, Caesars Palace, and the Flamingo. Las Vegas as well? Oh, this is a full San Andreas experience. On to Las Vegas for another four days. There's the strip in Vegas, of course. Coming up any minute, you're going to see, yes, there's Don't Walk. There's the riverboat, of course. That's downtown. The Big Wheel, the Silver Slipper, Caesars Palace, and the Flamingo. There's the stardust there. Any money, any spending? It's a marvellous place. A wonderful holiday. The Aladdin, I played there myself. There's Caesar's Palace. I are right, Ted. Yeah. You haven't been there, have you before? No. Oh, dear. Yeah, well, now, deal. we just have one more to go, and then we have the final three. OK, to close our cabaret line-up, now we have an act that's a wow wherever they go. They present themselves originally, cleverly, and sensationally. Ladies and gentlemen, for my money, the greatest act in nightclubs today... Ronnie Dukes and Ricky Lee. Oh my God, it's Alice Faye. <laughs> <laughs> really funny. Everybody, you wouldn't get that if you were not alive then. I was. And so when he went like, oh my God, it's Alice Faye. <laughs> really topical joke. I've got no idea who that is. Is that what you said? I don't even know if you said that. She'd like to sing a song that she's recently recorded on the Guinness label. And it's been released about the same time as Rudolf Hess. Uh, Rudolf Hess was an imprisoned Nazi. We actually still had alive imprisoned Nazis in 81. Was he the cunt who tried to, who actually landed in Scotland on a plane? To sort of like, I don't know, hand himself in? Daft looking cunt. Rudolph. How'd you spell it again? There's, there's another one that's sort of like that. Uh, Scotland. Aye, him, look. Stupid looking cunt. Eh, uh, where is it? Flight to Scotland. Bon? Wait a minute. Oh look, setting a course towards Bon. Hess used landmarks on the ground to orient himself and make minor course corrections. When he reached the coast near the right... Did he? Did he? Try to stay at a British radar. Did he fuck it up? Is it an accident? Intending to approach the coast of North East England. It zigzagged back and forth for 40 minutes until it went dark. Um, right. Spitfires were after him. Uh, what 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 was it then? Where the fuck did he land? L? What? No. Right, what's that? Hit the ground. Crashed. West of. Dungavel, Dungavel House, the Duke of Hamilton's home. What? what? 
Well. He gave somebody a letter addressed to Hitler that detailed his plans to initiate peace negotiations. Negotiate peace. Peace. So, so he flew it like the UK. Kind of fucked it up. But he ended up uh, going a bit too far north. But to go like that. Uh, peace, please. Peace. He was negotiating, uh, defecting. Right, we gear up. Let's negotiate. Like at the end of the war. It's a song that she sang on our very first Royal Command performance. The Queen loved it. Prince Albert weren't too keen, but that's the way. The joke is... Uh, that would be Queen Victoria, who died, I think, in 1899. Maybe. 1901, was it? Oh, so sorry. I knew it was a year at one end or the other. They're po- oh, they're, they're po- a, lot of, a lot of knowledgeable people. She's going to sing it like she's never sang before. How's that? In key. <laughs> And it's been written for her by Cole Porter. Not the Cole Porter, a Cole Porter. This is, this cunt's actually, this is actually all right. This is actually just standard Benidorm. Oh, it's all right, fucking compared to the rest of the shite. So the standards have been fucking lowered. And it's a song that we'd like to dedicate to my mother-in-law called that old Black Magic. Hey, come on, that's a funny bit there, look. Look. The old Black Magic has me in a spell. Old Black Magic that you weep so well. I see fingers up and down my spine. Same old witch when you rise. Standard singing. Same old thing. Name your, name your jokes. Hold on. I should stay away, but what can I do? We about funny dancing. Flame, burning desire. That only your kiss put out my it's all right, we bought a hotel entertainment, Benidorm club, get the pints brought to you. Uh, can I have a pint of, uh, pint, of, uh, uh, pint of lager, please? Gracias. Was that it? Listen. You sing. I can sing. But I'm about a joke. How's about you team up and I'll be a bit kind of funny guy and you're like, kind of like the straight man, if you know what I mean. You're just, but you don't go, you know, the usual straight man. Like, oh, what are you talking about? That's enough, you. No, the kind of, uh, Jimmy Crankin, who's a what do you call that one again? What's his name? Another real name. Dale. Ian. What's that what's that real names again? It's uh is it rough? Is it rough or tough? Is it tough? Ian and Jeanette, tough I The Live in Coventry, thank you very much. That's helped uh, with the name. Thank you. Thank Perfect, you. Ricky. Great to see- Thanks for that Swedish house furniture. What's the what's the what's the guy's name? He's got Jimmy Cranky. What's the what's the the, the Live in Coventry? Right, so that probably be something like John then, wouldn't it? 
But you don't you don't change your name when you move to Coventry. There's swingers. I know everybody's seen it. See you again. Thank you. There's a program uh, the crankies just sort of following my boot and chatting and they kind of openly saying, "Hi, hi, we day." Marvellous as ever, my good. Making one of your rare television appearances. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Thank now, you. what are you going to leave then as the clue? Come down, mate. What is that? This is a witch doctor's juju stick. A juju stick? <laughs> the mother in law said. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want it back then, Ronnie. Eh? Okay, now, Ronnie, have you got a rhyme? Well, for the uh, Rigamy Lee, it's Vicky Lee. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> this says, See this, it's the start of black magic. A lot of help I could be. Ah, if you want to win at the end, the answer's a spell, don't you see? Hmm, Jane? Like, don't, don't you see? Don't you see? So take you and see you as some words. Could it be that? Might not be that. Because we did say it not, it, it wasn't not not Rin Tin Tin. A lot of help I could be. This says, see this, it's the start of black magic. See this, right? See this. A lot of help I could be. A lot of help I could be, right? Be, I could be. I take see you in the end of the be. I could be. Be I. C I B I. I could be. I C B. B I N. No, that's that's Beck. No, right, wait. Ah, if you want I've been AC though. Take a see you. To win at the end, the answer's a spell. Don't you see? Hmm. Jay? Mm. Mm. I can't fucking wait to hear Ted explain this fucking one. Mm. Big box of black magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd give you a bit more than that. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> hey, what about thank you though, please? Ronnie Dukes, Ricky Lee. Cheers, Ronnie. Ricky. Cheers, Ricky. Have a laugh. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good work. Right. <laughs> the Juju stick brought in by Ronnie Juice. He said it was. How much are they paying you? Well, no getting paid, but they said that. Yeah, honestly, see, getting on fucking three, two, one. Everybody is going to be like, that's them who were on three, two, one. But how do you get money for that though? Well, people will buy tickets to see us at the local. Uh, club, they'll come out. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think many people, you know, I think there'll be people who were already, they would already be coming out, come out every Saturday to the, the local, whatever it is, club. Mother in law, but I don't know whether we believe that. We, but we can charge mail, but they'll be coming anyway. Never mind. What, oh, what was that? He says it was sent by his mother-in-law, but I don't know whether we believe that. <laughs> Never mind. What are you going to shoot? <laughs> he said it was sent by his mother-in-law, but I don't know if we'll believe that. <laughs> Ted was on form last night. He said uh, he said it was sent by his mother-in-law, but and then right, you listening? Because here's the punchline. He said. Don't know if we'll believe that. <clears throat> Dale, thanks for the bits. I should demand Cuba. Uh, thanks for the, 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 thank you very much. And Twitch has given 120... Uh, we've added 30 bits. To the, the bonus, 90 bits. Apparently, something to do with bits, you get mailed bits. I don't yeah. know. Get rid of the shoe. You want to reject the shoe? Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, oh, no. Oh, they say no. Oh, no, they say no. Don't fucking listen <laughs> to this law. something, Mike. We don't know. What are you going to do? It's up to shoot. you. Yes? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Jane, what do you say? What's that? You want to reject the shoe? Mm. Oh, oh, no. Oh, they say no. Oh, no, they say. <laughs> you see, they know something, Mike. We don't know. What are you going to do? It's up to shoot. you. Yes? Mm -hmm. All right. Did he say something to be sure, or did he say to her, it's up to you? I don't know what he's saying now. They say. <laughs> you see, they know something, Mike. We don't know. What are you going to do? It's up to shoot. you. Yes? Mm -hmm. Shoot. Sure. No, he said something. Did he say it's up to you, or was it two people speaking at once? No. Oh, no, they say. You see, they know something, Mike, we don't know. What are you going to do? It's up to shoe. you. Yes? No, he said... Oh, Ted said it's up to you, and he said shoe. Right. I thought he was trying to pin it on her. I thought he, 
then nudge her. Let's try to pin it on her. It's up to you. No, you, you're confident that that's it. I'm not, I'm not confident. I just think, you know, we'll, we'll make decisions as a team. No, you see me. No, you go. You're always saying that. I'm bossy and I'm making decisions. On you go. On you go. There's no a word or term for what you're doing yet because it's 81. But I know you're being a fucking cunt. Mike. That's what she's thinking. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Jane, what do you say? Okay, I'll go ahead. Jane, yeah. sa Jane says okay. She's not. No, no, no. Put it on to him. Go on. Like, All right. No, I'll go with him. That's what he. No, he says. I don't know. We, we decided. No, you. You. Uh, nudge, 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 nudge. Gonna listen to you. You sure about that? Mm. Okay, we're gonna reject the shoe brought in by Chris right at the beginning, who said, the MC gave you a welcome when in cabaret you were taken. If you take this in too quickly, you may be both stirred and shaken. If you take this in too quickly, you may be uh, both stirred and shaken. This must, this can't be Dusty Bin. How could it be? Now, you said you thought it was a, a what? A cocktail, you said, didn't you? The MC gave you a welcome when in cabaret you were taken. Well, did you think we might be trying to take you? If you take this in too quickly, you may be both stirred and shaken. Well, you'd certainly be shaken if you won the bin, I'm sure. And I've no doubt that you'll be stirred as well. So what could you have that might be stirred and shaken? Well, how about a cocktail, Jane, as you suggest? Mm -hmm. Well, there would have been no shortage of welcomes from your visitors, all served from, right, this magnificent cocktail cabinet. Take a look. But well, that's deceptively simple. Deceptively simple. Okay, Mike and Jane, look at this. Look at Alison is opening up for you there. Look at this, Mike. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Alive. And there's more below there, Alison, yes? Oh, yeah. oh. Just look at Yes. This. We have champagne down there. We've got every spirit you can think of, and we've got the... We have champagne down there. What are our bells, look? Trampier. Get that done you in the one night, man. Get that done you in the one fucking night. Get that glugged. I never liked whiskey. Bottle martini. Is that Quantro? We've got every spirit you can think of, and we've got the liqueurs as well. I Lots don't see any vodka. Glass at the top. Magnificent Ted. prize. There it is. Ted, Ted mate. Ted. Ted, mate. Mark. 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 A person and see, Mark. Mark. You've got to go out and win it. Fuck. Work, I'm not giving up. You're not. You're back. That's and see, Mark. 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 Mark, 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 Mark. You've got to, first of all, you won't forget it. Mark, you listening? You listening? You listening? Because you've you got a problem with listening. you got a problem with listening. Mark, 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 Mark. Stay with me. Attention, attention, attention. B will make you a stronger person. And C, Mark, Mark, you've got to go out Mark, and Mark, now if you give Mark, it, Mark, Mark. I'm not giving up. Mark, Mark. You're not, you're back, that's the most important, but you, now you've got to get it. Mark, Mark. Don't fucking say my name like you're snapping your fucking fingers, mate. Or I'll walk again. I'll walk. Uh, Wig thinks to the bits. Thank you very much for the overtime pay and Twitch for the additional... Penny, I'm afraid Thank we're going much. back to the last two on the table. Yeah. Here we go, everybody. This. Now we have to go. this is bad. This is fucking bad. Right. This is bad. Another wonderful prize has gone. Now we're down to the final two, of course, which everybody dreads this moment. But, of course, mm. being the final two, I can read them both again. No. It looks like um, we're talking about The motor, I don't think there's any other star prize. I don't think the early holiday was a star prize. The holiday normally isn't the star prize. It's something else. 
isn't it? This is it. I have no idea what's happening. It says good biscuits, God of biscuits. They've got to pick a clue to reject. Each of these clues represents a prize. And so the left will just won. And I'm sure you want to hear them both again, don't you? Yes. OK. Now, then, this was brought in the needle by John, who said, I never said a gottle of gear, so am I for or again? You again, again. Gottle of gear, again, bin. Gottle instead of bottle. Again instead of bin. What you don't want to hear, though, is when you're left with that, he says... Or could that be a bin? No, you do want to hear that you want to hear him mention bin right away, like, oh. As if that's obvious. No, you don't want to hear that. Do you? Hog sinks to the bits. I will stick their bits right fucking up me because I can do that now with a new TOS change. You could throw it out to the corner of the room if this you happen to win. That was what John Boucher said. But it doesn't sound like the bin because you wouldn't throw it to the corner of the room, would you? Well, argue Could with Mike. Yeah, the gottle of gear thing. I don't, I don't see gottle the gottle of gear at all. Well, I'll tell you what, you've just heard that. I'll read the juju stick brought in by Ronnie yes, Dukes so. and Ricky Lee again. They said, see this? It's the start of black magic. A lot of help I could be. Ah, if you want to win at the end, the answer's a spell, don't you see? Oh. Um. The answer's a spell. Don't you see I'll win? Spell? I'll win? Win? R in? R in? So, the audience are going as wild as you are right now. Oh, 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 oh. Walk listen, don't listen to walk them. here. Walk out of them. Go, can I? Am I allowed to just. I. What was it you were saying now? I think it's the thingy because of the thingy, right? Oh, he's... What are you saying? Go in! Go in amongst the people. Hey, listen. You've got to listen to him. He's the fellow you've got to take note of. Eh, uh, what? You've got to listen to him. Oh, 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 listen. Don't listen to them. Hey, listen. You've got to listen to him. He's the fellow you've got to take note of. I'm not I'm really sure. I'm not going to be blamed. I'm not really sure. Oh, no, oh, you hear that? She's like, oh, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get blamed. This is bad. Well, you got to take notes This is 81 in a nutshell. I'm not... I, no, 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 here. Don't listen to them. Listen to them. This is, this is the one you've got to take note of. This one. This, this is a, the most important. This is where you get your inf information. Let's get it right here. Know them. Is you two against all them? Only listen to him. Really sure. I'm not going to be blamed. I'm not going to be blamed, she says. Do you blame? Is that his fucking hell? What age is he? I bet he's fucking 19. Not really sure. It's a, it's a very, very tough time right now. The final. You better make a decision, dickhead. You love making all the decisions. On you go. On you go. You got that wrong. Well, at least I made a, a decision. Menjoy thinks the sub. Appendum thinks of the bits. I was sick today and missed Christmas fun day just so I could watch the streams. Fucking yes. This is your Christmas party here. On the table. What do you say? What do you think? A spell. Yes, it's one or the other. Get rid of the needle. Are we? <laughs> it's dark. Keep looking at me. It's terrifying. What a fucking wonder! God. <laughs> it's dark. Keep looking at me. It's terrifying. And here it is. And here it is. All out in the open. There it is. Oh, no, no. He's like, how do I make a decision but somehow pin it on her if it goes wrong, but I also look like it's me making a decision in front of these people. I want to make a decision, 
No, huh? But I don't want to get blamed if it goes wrong. So how do I make it look like it's her fault if it goes wrong? My fault if it goes right? And also just make it look like I make the decisions about here. In front of Ted. He's fuck. He doesn't know what to do. He's fucking melting. What will we do? What will... First time he's ever said fucking we. God. Well, he was. Well, we can't be needle. here all day. The needle. Okay. Yes? All right, okay. you're going to reject the needle. All right, yep, yep, Ted, she says needle. Um, no, don't, don't say, don't say, if, don't say hard yet, because this might be the bin, and she'll get the credit. All right, you're rejecting the needle. Bro. They're clamping because they've been there for about fucking ten minutes listening to this. Going to have to count you in. I'm going to have to count you in, and if you don't make a decision, you walk away with nothing. Nothing. Brought in by John Boucher, who said, I never said a gotler gear, so am I for or again? You could throw it out to the corner of the room if this, you happened to win. Right. He put a bin in the corner of the room. This has got to be, it has got to be dusty bin. Okay. I never said a gottle of gear, so am I for again? Well, gottle of gear, well, that's what a ventriloquist would say if he wasn't a good one like John. He'd say, a gottle of gear, and again, of course, he'd say, gin for bin. Well, you could throw it out. Well, that too might be a clue to the bin. Are you seriously going to try and tell me, Ted, that it isn't? It fucking better be. I'd say that to him. I'd say, Ted, this better be the bin that we've just rejected. Or I will be sticking you in that bin one limb at a time. There is no way this is the fucking motor. If you make this out to be the motor that we've rejected somehow, we fucking got the gear and uh, getting bin and... I'm going to put you in the motor, in the back, chopped up to pieces, and dump you in a quarry somewhere. It's happening. But not to the corner of the room. What could be thrown there? How about sound? Well, certainly sound can be thrown in many directions. You fucking what? Sound? Oh, shut up, Ted. What? Well, you could throw it out. Well, that too might be a clue to the bin but not to the corner of the room. How, how would you know put the bin in the corner of the room? How would you know put... No, no, you, you know how bins never go in the corner. You know how they never, they must never go in the corner. Mine's not in the corner talking about yours. He's saying it like it would never. See, see my bin, my bin isn't in the corner. The bin that's in the kitchen, that's not in the corner. But some bins might go in the corner, especially like a paper bin. You know, for chucking bits of paper in. In fact, let me see. That might go in the corner either. There is nothing that says bins don't go in the corner. But listen to this. What could be thrown there? How about sound? Well, certainly sound can be thrown in many directions. What could be fucking thrown there in the corner? If not a bin? Well, certainly sound. Sound could be thrown in the corner. What? And uh, you probably aren't aware because it is 1981 and not a lot of people know about these terms. There's not a lot of geeks and nerds and just general audiophiles and people who know about things, um, technology and looking up the internet. You call them the, the bins. Sometimes you can call them bins, the, you know, the, the speakers, I think, maybe. Can you? You can call the headphones cans. Bass bins. And you've thrown away this wonderful stereo system. Take a look. Well, that's it. Well, that's it. Oh. That's it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The only thing they're left with is one thing, and they haven't rejected Dusty Bin yet. They now know they're getting nothing. 
This is an utter fucking scam, isn't it? Utter. Come on, fuck, it was obvious it's fucking been and in the corner. What are you fucking on about? Got la geared? What? Goodness me. Well, I don't have to tell you, Mike and Jane, what, what this system is all about. It's about the best one you can get. Yeah. Two magnificent speakers here. We've got, of course, the, the tape deck over here. We've got the record player, the amp tuner. You have the headset, of course. Remote control as well. Yeah, go on. Just about. I know I daren't go on, but it's a fabulous prize. You've rejected. I wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind that one myself. I can tell you that. However, it has been rejected. We've got to get back to the table. We've got now, it. Yeah. Who said yeah. they should reject that? You. Let's get back to the table. Oh dear. Nice one, Ted. Nice one. That's it. Back to the the chop block. Led to the fucking gallows. I'm sorry. If you, I never said a gothel of gear. So if this you happened. To win. How the fuck okay. is this a stereo? Okay, I never said a gottle of gear, so am I for again? Well, gottle of gear, well, that's what a ventriloquist would say if he wasn't a good one like Johnny. Say a gottle of gear, and again, of course, he'd say gin for bin. Well, you could throw it out. Well, that too might be a clue to the bin, but not to the corner of the room. What could be thrown there? How about sound? Well, certainly sound can be thrown in many directions, and you've thrown away this wonderful stereo system. Take what? I got a gear. Is this something like for or again? Ah, that'll be a stereo. That I think that's stereo. That'd be like a whole kind of system, music system. To the bin, but not to the corner of the room. But not to the corner of the room. That sounds like it could be a stereo kind of system then. What could be thrown there? How about sound? Well, certainly sound can be thrown in many directions. And you've thrown away this wonderful stereo system. Take a look. That's possibly the fucking worst I've heard. This other one you're about to hear, the Black Magic one, is even more like complicated, convoluted, and all the rest of it. But that there, because it isn't so complicated, it's just so obviously... You know, got like or something. It's it's like there's no room for it to be rang. It doesn't make any sense. But not in the corner. Well, you know, the corner. You know, would it be a bin? What else gets thrown at the corner? Sound, sound system. Oh. You can get cool player. Just about. <laughs> I know. I didn't tell you that. That. Lead them to the gallows. Let's get back to the table. Oh dear. That was truly nonsense. Well, sound can be uh, thrown in many directions. So, pretty obvious now, isn't it? You think about it. Vince, thanks for the sub. I lead him to the galley. That's right, Quibicker. Well, they sort of helped you there, but it was your own decision. This is the yeah, one that's left. Yeah. Ronnie Dukes and Ricky Lee brought you in the juju stick. See this? It's the start of black magic. A lot of help I could be. Ah, if you want to win at the end, the answer is a spell you don't just see. Okay, see this is the start of black magic, a lot of help I could be. Ah, if you want to win at the end, the answer is a spell, we said. Well, the first three lines started with C, A, and R. But if you're spelling, you need letters, not words. And what's the... What, 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 what? But you didn't really... You didn't think it was a fucking mortal there, did you? The start... If your first three lines started with C, A, and R, but if you're spelling, you need letters. She's like, oh, what? So, what? Did we throw away Dusty Bin? I don't... When? Not words. And what's the start, start of Black Magic B? I could be of help. And at the end of win, you've got an end. Put these together. I'm afraid you won Dusty Bin. Uh, we, we know. We know. Right, so what? Spelling, you need to win. It's the only thing my left way. You want to win at the end? Okay. See, this is the start of black magic. A lot of help I could be. Ah, if you want to win at the end, the answer's a spell, we said. Well, the first three lines started with C, A, and R. But if you... Did, did that start with R? Did that start with R? Just like the letter R? R sound? Well, the first three lines started with C... A and R, but if you're spelling, what you ones? need letters, not words. That's right. 
I know, but it is the letters at the start of the words. Or is it because it was the word R? And that's not the letter R. The lines could be fucking anywhere, I know, I know. And what's the start, start of black magic B? I could be of help and... That's a B. I could... I'm doing this in slow motion here. I'm fucking pausing and playing and... I... The, the end of win, you've got an end, put these together, I'm afraid... The end of win, right? Win, right? So, you take the C, right? So you take the C, uh-huh, right? So forget about the C, right? And it ends with N, right? Uh -huh. Then you've got the B. Where's the B again? What, what, what would you say about the C? You need letters, not words. And what's the start, start of black magic B? I could be of help. And at the end of win, you've got an end. Put these together. I'm afraid you won Dusty Bin. Oh, yeah. Let's say this fucking audience. Oh, no. It's the only thing that's left, and it has to be, Dusty Bin's always in it. And has to be rejected yet. Why did fucking what? Oh, you're joking. Oh, Alison Temple Savage missed out on a cracking uh, opportunity to do the thing where you look like you're in a bin. You look like you're a guy carrying you in a bin. You know that thing? Like you're, you're like, like sticking out the bin, but you, like, your legs are actually there. Do you know what I mean? Hold on. I'm going right in my fucking stream time here to, to show you this. Uh, man in bin illusion. No, 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 no. It's kind of like that. Um, bin a uh, costume. Aye, that kind of thing there. Um, see if anything else pops up though. Kind of like that, kind of like that. I did see that shot up there, but I'm just going to see if there's anything down here. Right, so that's absolute shite. This kind of thing here. Right, we have to change the URL so that we can actually control the fucking thing. Arson could have done that just to bring a wee bit of comedy at the end of this nonsense. You've got fucking no chance. And you know. Oh dear. With A clues, you have got no chance. Just fucking shut your eyes, spin the room three times, and point and go, I'm rejecting that. You pick, Ted. You pick. Just chuck a coin in the fucking air and whatever it lands. Well, there you go. It, it has to happen sometime, Mike and Jane. I'm, I'm sorry it's happened to you. He's a bit of a rascal, this character. You know that. And there's the new dustbin, of course, that you've got to take home with you. Lovely, she said. Look at her face. Hey, everybody loves this character once he's been rejected. When he's won, look at that. A brand new bit is all you get. There's usually a little something in here. Of course, there is. Your ceramic dusty bin, so that's a Thank little you. compensation. Thank you. He is worth a little money, then there's a little bit more money you won in the quiz. Mike, what was that? 200 and what? 320. 320. Well, that's not a bad night's work. 320 quid is there. Thank you. You've been a marvellous sporting you. couple. Thank you for Thank coming. You Jane, take care. Thank there you are. Well, oh. I thought you found. Oh, dear. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Pond. Somebody. I guarantee you that that black magic one that the spell out car 
they would have made that uh, the, the one that ended up being the bin they would have made that uh, dusty bin they would have made that a motor if they rejected that they would have made that a motor and they would have made that one just there Sorry for because they're all such lovely couples that come on our program. However, that's the rule. And yet you fuck them out continuously. Of our show, we look forward to seeing you next week with more beautiful couples like this. <laughs> Until then, have a great week. Good night, everybody. Three, two, one. Good night. Oh, let's see. Come on, you go to final insult. The final fucking scam. The final fucking lie. Pretend that everybody does three to one with his fucking fingers. I mean, there it is. It says it all, really, doesn't great it? Week. Go, Ted. Geese are fucking laughing. Actually, do it right for once. Go. 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 Right. Right, right. You know what, Ted? I'm going to give you that there. That There's four, but it turns into a solid three. I'm going to give you that three. Right. So let's see you go like that. Look. How many do you want, John? How many do I want? You know, just because you've wet, like, you know, your horns wet like that first. Right? Right, that's three. That's three. Does it turn into a two? Nope. And there's no one. That's just a point. That's a point. That is three, three. Don't give him a zero. Don't give him anything. Just three, three. That's it. Hi, bye. Hi. Mm. Mm. Arson, don't waste your fucking time. Arson Temple Savage. Don't, don't, don't waste your time. It's not your job. It's not your fucking job to, to make them feel better because they're writers. And the whole producers are fucking con artists. Because that, that means you're aiding and abetting. You're participating. You're part of it. You're part of it. You're part of it. <laughs> Dusty been celebrating the back room now. Ted's Material by Wally Malston. Doesn't even write his own fucking pish part. Beneath the headphones, thanks for the bits. Who would you want as host of a 2024 3-2-1 remake? Beneath the headphones, I'm surprised you actually asked a question about 3-2-1 while we're watching 3-2-1. That's not like you. Thought he'd ask something like, um, um, why did you never get the, um, you know, the, the wee root finder thing in Subnautica Below Zero? Why did you never use that? Because that could have really helped you uh, on the ca in the caves. Just something completely fucking different. Um, who would you want as a host? Who would be good as a host? Why are you such a dick? I'm just having a giggle. Um, who'd be a good one? James Corden. Who'd be really appropriate though? You know, somebody would sort of fuck up the words now again. I would fuck it up. Um, Peter Capaldi. That could be alright actually. Peter Capaldi, I'd like to see that. Just glad, you know, he's quite there's a, a sort of not a stiffness to him, but there's a there's a seriousness to him. Even though no, he'll still crack jokes, but he'll look like he's um acting. 
when he's been all kind of Paddy McGuinness. No, no the obvious names. Something a wee bit. Larry Grayson's long gone. Ross Noble. No. Julian Clary. Oh, Julian Clary would be fucking brilliant. Dave from accounts. Simon's gone. Does he think he's subs the bits? Some overtime bits for that. I'll pass that one to Bobby. Bobby, um, earlier Bobby was sitting outside the door before I started the stream. I picked her up. I took her into the bedroom. I pulled the covers sort of up a wee bit, made a wee kind of, you know, like a wee kind of cave sort of thing and I put her in and she seemed to be all right. Kind of next to the windy, facing the windy. I'm looking forward to seeing if she's in the exact same place. Find out on threads later, everybody. Find out on threads. Brian Lemond on threads. She's coming, it's Fediverse something, something. Europe. Europe. Does he think the bits or the clues of double meanings? It's only Ted's incompetence that means people accidentally win the star prize. The whole, every single clue has got a prize option or a dusty bin option depending on what the producers want to happen. Don't participate, don't participate, Libby, Libby, Fiona, um, Dion, was it? Don't, 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 don't participate. I'm not paying you enough. Diane, Solomon, just Dion. You... Get your money. You get your money. You get your money. There you go. And I've got another fucking episode ready to go called Spring. But I'll look to see. I've got one mail bookmarked. But I'll look to see if there's other ones for the same time, same era, same series. Uh, just in case, start watching the Spring and like it's got something dodgy as fuck in it. Dodgy, dodgy. Just in case, get another wee DVD Friday. Maybe. Maybe end on a downer. That's, I love to end on a downer. I love a good downer. Everybody, thanks for the subs, the subs, the bits, the tips. Thank you very much for the modern mods. Remember, I'm getting out the hampers now. Everybody was with wanted Deliveroo. I don't don't know Deliveroo's. They'll be moving on to other ones. I like to get it on because you can sort of add them on the one thing and pay for them on the one time. Um, and everybody, thanks just for watching. Where's the raid? Could you see a raid, anybody? No. There it is there. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I'll be back on the morrow. Maybe with a bit of DBD. Maybe a bit of this or a bit of that. We'll fucking see. Thanks for watching. I'll send you out. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Seriously, though. Bye for now. Hold on. Hold on. Bye for now.